Who's ready for the weekly bust? You're in the right place if you came to catch the show. Tithe and Levi are the names of your host. Who the next guest is, I really want to know. Conversation escalating, let's get to the show. Who's ready for the weekly bust? Episode 26 of the weekly bust. We are here with Ryan the Kid. What's poppin', what's poppin'? Welcome, Ryan. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. How about you guys? Doing well. Doing well. Fairly swell. Oh, shit. My bad. What's up, girl? I knew I heard something in the fucking headphones. <coughs> yeah, it was driving me high key crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hella loud, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, my God. Chingao. All right. Uh, pull up the slide, my guy. We should just start That's over. just going to be a fucking key phrase <coughs> in every episode. I swear to God. Oh, is it? Pull yeah. up the slide. Yup. That's what's up. Uh, Ryan, who are you? Man, I am Ryan the Kid. Born and raised Great Falls, Montana. I'm a rapper slash songwriter slash producer. Okay. Uh, what else you do? What do you do for work? Uh, fucking nothing right now, man. I'm just rapping. I'm trying to sell these t-shirts, get some money cracking. Sure, That's pretty sure. much it. Merch? Yep. Yeah, trying to eat off the merch. For sure on Instagram and Facebook, all that. Okay. Okay. Uh, at <clears throat> Ryan the at Kid. At Ryan the Kid, yep. Are you okay. advertising on Facebook, though, like through their advertising marketing? Yeah, a little bit, for sure. Like, yeah. we promote a couple posts, put them out there. Gotcha. Put anything on, like, Marketplace for, like, local sales? Yeah, why uh, don't you do that? Not really, not yet. We're working on it. We're thinking, actually, we're cr- pretty close buddies with the dudes at Nomad. And we're, okay. tr- we're thinking about getting some shirts hooked up in there. If they sell, they sell. If not, right. pull them. Yeah. Well, shit, I don't really care if they sell or not because they would be buying them from me first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they buy it and then they resell it. So. Yeah, but that's how uh, fashion goes. Like, there's this yeah. joint down in California where uh, a lot of, like, uh, independent fashion artists and designers okay. will go. Um, I'll, actually, I'll let Josh talk about when he's on the show um, where you go down there and you just approach the manager or the fucking owner and they'd be like, hey, can I kind of drop a fucking slide like a table and a booth right and they'll keep it up for a month or two and if it fucking sells they'll, they'll contract them which is sick dude like okay that's yeah I yeah it's you. super sick that's what's up right yeah that's kind of <laughs> what we're trying to do with the t-shirts hoodies all that okay let's say oh fuck I, i'm supposed to go live hold on you guys can go ahead and kill all right so um <clears throat> you are i guess you but you said Great Falls. Okay. So what inspires yeah. you to be a rapper? Pretty much, like, I just remember back in middle school, pretty much, is when I started. That's when I started kind of listening to rap. I didn't really listen to a lot of rap music growing up. It was mainly just, like, rock and roll, that type of stuff. So what got you into rap? EDM. Oh, man. It, like, honestly, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz okay. Khalifa was literally the dude that got me into it. Because I remember listening to a lot of, like, pop music and stuff, and... Wiz was kind of that was a whole era vibe for sure. Yeah, that's kind of what got me into it. And I remember rapping along to him and just feeling like, man, I feel nice rapping along to this shit. I might as well just write my own shit, you know? Okay, that's fair. And that's pretty much yeah. That's how it got started. Um, who, like, besides yourself? How old are you? Hold on, I got a question. How old are you? There you go. I'm twenty. That makes sense. I was I was just like Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. I mean, that was that was uh, that took me back. Like, it was a little shocked. Khalifa. Yeah, it was shocked, man. In like nobody. I yeah, don't think I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, I started rapping because of Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, right. I know it's like a rare thing to say, you know? <laughs> you know especially. I mean? <laughs> okay. I just never heard that. And yeah. I thought I was. What was like, your favorite Wiz Khalifa song? Oh man, it's hard to pick. I remember the album we were listening to was On IFC. Okay. That was the one, and there's one with Juicy J on there. What the hell is that song called? Oh, uh, the plan. Yeah, the plan with okay. Juicy J. That one's a banger. <laughs> Ju- Juice Simon Taylor gang for a while, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. I, I thought so. Left hip to t- uh, hypnotized minds. Mm. Okay, I don't remember. I don't even recall that. Well, you was Taylor ganged out, bro. Right? Yeah. You why were... do I not remember that? I don't know. It's fucking weird. <laughs> it was a big deal for me though, because I came from my music era, signing to a young cat. Right. You know what I mean? Because hypnotized minds did well with without fucking Taylor gang. Okay. Fair. Yeah, it was a little weird. Yeah, Wiz, he was young coming up to sign somebody like Juicy to his label. 
Yeah, OG. that was crazy, man. It was a little weird. I think they were having a fallout. Uh, three six was because uh, DJ Paul wanted to to stick to what they know, and Juicy was out here doing funky shit. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? DJ Paul a gangster, dude. Like, juicy, More than juicy? juicy? Juicy ain't that G, dude. Not like a gang mm-hmm. member style, dude. Like in a fist fight, you think? Who dude, that ain't fair, dude. <laughs> fucking DJ Paul fucking has a gimp arm, dog. All right, fair. You know what I mean? What do you right. <laughs> fair. That's true. You need to fucking scrap him out. <laughs> and that probably is the reason why Juicy get uh, Juicy J. Uh, I mean, fucking DJ Paul is a gangster, man. Like I ain't fighting you. I'll fucking shoot you instead, dude. I can't fight you. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um. Okay, that that took me back. I didn't really. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting Wiz. No, yeah, it's like a yeah, it's a weird thing when I tell people that because yeah, I did come up in kind of an unconventional way. Yeah, most people come up listening to different type of rappers. You know, a lot of people like man, I came up listening to Eminem and Biggie, and I kind of miss that whole wave, honestly. When I go back, I do a little bit of my homework for sure, but pretty much came up listening to Wiz and Mac and that. That's like 2010 too. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So like. I mean, he's 10 years old. That makes sense. You know what I mean? It does make sense. Mm. That's fucking crazy to me, man. Right. Like, uh, I mean, he missed a whole era. Like, early, even early 2000 raps was just fucking crazy. Like, I turned you on the Dipset recently, and I'm, every motherfucker in Dipset spits bars, dude. Like, rap raps. <sighs> Damn. And uh, then you probably missed out on the yeah, G-Unit yeah. era and all that shit, dude. Like, that's That crazy. was tough, dude. No, you are playing some shit earlier. Like I said, man, you're putting me on. Master Ace. Oh, Master Ace is out of, out of this fucking world, dude. He's sick. He's right. sick as fuck. What about Big L? You know Big L? Not really, man. What? Don't Damn. know a lot of Big L. Dude, and you, that's, that's, your mean, that's, not, that's your whole vibe. That honestly. shouldn't be like, that surprising. We, we is just it though? Really like, if we just, we just went through his music, right? And it's dope. It fucks. We like your music. Otherwise, you right. wouldn't fucking be sitting here. Um, even if you were whack, I'm sure we could pull some funny shit out of you. But you're Very not. true. You right. know what I mean? You're not. You have good raps and you have a vibe about you, dude. Appreciate and, it, man. And, I, and I'm surprised that uh, that Big L isn't one of your motherfucking huge ass influences. Right. Because you do have a big, like, it's that underground hip hop shit. But uh, I think, but yeah, the thing is, you got to think, like, Big L, he probably influenced Wiz, you know? He influenced Mac, so that kind of rubs off on me, you know what I'm saying? Sure, like, but it's not, not, like a, not, a not on you, effect. though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't direct. It yeah. was, you could be like, man, I remember listening to. MVP, you know what I mean? No, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's a good one. That's crazy. That's a nice drop. Yeah, I love Big L, dude. Big L's in top 15. Okay. For me, man. All right time? Mm-hmm. Or rappers. Rappers, yeah. top 15. You know what I mean? Big L is just that dude. There, there yeah. isn't a Big L song that I don't fuck with, dude. You know what I mean? Like, there, there isn't one of them like, oh, that shit's gay. Right. You know, he's... Because <laughs> he's so good. I mean... <clears throat> You know, he doesn't have the deepest catalog either, so... Yeah, he was murdered, you know what I mean? But, like, right? if he wasn't murdered, he would have a deep catalog, because right. that fucker rips, dude. He just is a, just a shredder. Fuck yeah, I'll have to go back and look into it a little bit. For yeah, sure. you fuck around with Master Ace, Big L, you'd be like, dude, dude, yeah, that's rap, rap. And that's the thing that trips me out. Yeah, I go back and listen to some old shit. So, like, Nasty Nas, you don't listen to Nasty Nas? Nas, I've listened to a little bit. I definitely have heard some Illmatic. Not much else, so it's kind of basic. <sighs> His catalog you know? is deep. Yeah, yeah, his catalog it's is good. fucking deep. I mean, it's yeah. not too short deep, but it's Don't good. Don't fuck around so much with New Nas. It's gotten so political with New Nas. Like, mm. he's always been a political rapper, but, like, he's... I, I'm, I'm borderline crossing the line when I say that he might be a fucking bit racist or just doesn't care so much for, you know, like, even white culture, so he focuses his entire energy on black culture. I feel it. And, uh... It's, it's almost gotten Which to Which I mean is the right. I guess. I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying, though. You know what I mean? Like, he is. Uh, but it's definitely changed a lot since before. Yeah. Of like, so it's super, super, uh, you know, um, I can't vibe to it. You know what I mean? White people mm. shouldn't be like, we're not the type that, like, and maybe that's what he's going for. He wants to stick to his kind, but like. Well, I'm a Nas fan, dog. Like, you know, and there's yeah. there's songs on there like a white person isn't really going to get away with listening to. You know what I'm saying? Fair. I, I think that's interesting. I, I don't know. I've always looked at I don't think music really has a cover, though. I mean, you can't say, like, oh, you're too white to listen to that. I don't know. I always thought that's kind of not true. I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying, though. Like, You'd have to listen to the yeah. last two yeah. to really understand. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I guess I don't know where I'm going. Okay, listen to Illmatic and Stillmatic, then listen to... King's Desire and uh, Nazir. Nazir. Yeah. yeah, Nazir, you can you, you can get away with it because he he didn't go that full like uh, 
whatever he's doing now. You know what I mean? Like that influence. Right. And I fuck with Nas. I, I'm not. It's not a degrade against him. He just changed lands. Um. Anyways, yeah, go ahead, man. Um, Influences is that who we're still? Inspiring? Yeah. So, who motivates you to do better other than like yourself? Shit, man. Like, pretty much, yeah. Like, uh, my homies around me for sure. My Good buddy, answer. My buddy Mikey. He influences me heavy. Every day inspires me to keep rapping better. Mikey, you number one fan. <laughs> Same with. Uh, yeah, my buddy Nico, he's a good influence. Like, yeah, I like to keep people around me that make art too, because I guess that inspires me to keep making art. You know what I'm saying? And when I get together with my buddy, you know, Austin, he sings a little bit. He's not even really a rapper. He's more of an R&B okay. singing guy. But we can kind of riff off of each other, and that definitely inspires me. He'd be a good hook guy. You could put on. Yeah, totally. Right. And, I, and trust me, I do. I put him mm -hmm. on the hook whenever I can. You know. You got that cheap hand and a Nate dog hanging around you. Right. That helps. Might as well use them up, you know? Yeah, totally. Get some um, You got you, what you about, know, other voices, I What suppose. about your folks or anything? Your parents or fucking upbringing? Oh, man. I don't know. My folks, they're a little <laughs> older, actually. My mom and my dad, they came up in the 70s. So they're a little older. Grew up in the 70s or born in the 70s? What's like, up? Like, came up in the 70s. So they were, like, born. My mom was born 1960. Okay, so, so it's, yeah, my okay. dad was born like fifty two. So you do have some old parents. Yeah, they're yeah. like a lot of people probably. Okay, so yeah, to be some people's to grandparents. Find yeah. rap on your own when you're about ten. That's about right, though. Yeah, yeah. It's not like yeah, when I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of. It's not like my parents listened to any rap music. You know, I was, was just old. gonna ask you, are you sheltered? Uh, I you? I don't know, maybe a little bit. I wouldn't say I was sheltered too much. No, I don't know, maybe a little for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what kind of shit were you exposed to at growing up? Oh, man. Exposed to... I don't know. I, I couldn't say I was exposed to... Some people have rough childhoods, you know? They see right. pretty yeah. terrible. I couldn't say I really, like, saw terrible things growing up or anything like that. Sure. I had a pretty normal upbringing, you know? Yeah, I can't really think of much. Did so you graduate? Like super... Yeah, graduated yeah. high school. College? No, not college. Did you get into college? No. Oh, okay. Not right now. I figure, I don't know, I'm just going to see where this music shit takes me, and maybe college could be somewhere in the future. Yeah. But if you ever you do... You said self-production, you don't think you'd want to go... That's exactly you know what I mean? was like, thinking. Go down to Arizona, or do that even music the, program. the culture of college, you know what I mean? If you catch flame while you're in college, and they should... Because college kids fuck and shit. Yeah, yeah. They, they fuck with whoever they fuck with, you know what I mean? See, yeah, to I totally know what you're talking about. That's kind of the problem that I've had since I graduated high school, because when you're in high school... Yeah, like, I show up with a big bag of CDs like I did at your place, and, like, yeah, I can give that to a ton of kids, you know what I'm saying? They spread it to their friends. It's like this community that you can spread your music in. Absolutely. But, yeah, out of school right now, it has been kind of hard to find the audience again, uh -huh. but that's why we're kind of relying on, like, hopefully live shows. We're trying to get some live shows popping more, doing stuff like this, a podcast. Who are you hitting up for venues? out there. Um, we've been hitting up Empty Pints lately. Yeah, you done any shows? We've done like three shows or maybe four, but then that was back in 2019. Have you drawn a crowd? Oh, uh, or was it just kind of like the? I'd say we did a show at the Back Alley Pub back in 2019, that was pretty. Popular. I've seen some pretty I'm dope shows say, at the Back Alley, dude. I, like it wasn't like a huge show or nothing, but well, I was that's say, a, we never are. Memorial but they're dope. Quite a crowd. Yeah, yeah, we had we had a pretty good crowd there, and it was we were. I was there. It was good. To, you were at the Back Alley show. Mm -hmm. Is that Carrie show? Oh no shit. Yeah. It was. Mm -hmm. All right, you know our brother raps like a motherfucker, right? Mm -mm, I didn't know that. Hectic from MT Souls. MT <laughs> Souls, yeah. I didn't know. Raps like a, he's a rapper, rapper. That's why I think I'm more critical towards local rappers, like, cause he raps like right. a motherfucker. Okay. Um. That's tight. Yeah, he's dope as shit. Uh, I guess you were there on that show. Didn't even know it for Ghost J. Yeah. Or... Um. I would think you guys were about to go on as like, not that one after that. Lucky. Yeah, not lucky. Oh, okay. Okay, then I can go that No, one. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He's like, I don't yeah. know. So my brother was the headliner of that one. My brother was the headliner of that one. Yeah, Hectic performed that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. What up, Mom? How you doing? Um. Well, our infamous question. Already? Ryan, Already? Yeah. Already? Yeah, you, you answered his motivations question. <laughs> I think we're trying to get to know Ryan a little more, isn't it? I mean, what better way than, I guess, to get to know Ryan than 
ask the the question. Yes, How sir. big is your dick? No lies man. either, man. No capping. Man, my dick, it's like dick sized. It's like my I don't know. Average it's, it's dick regular, sized. Regular. Do you, I'd say, do you want to give him an average? It's regular. Give him an average. average for uh, America's five four. Yeah. Hard. I don't. It's somewhere. I don't know, man. I, I haven't measured it. Like man. I haven't got like a tape measure. What the that's, fuck? You know what I'm That's saying? too many in a row that's, for me to believe that. Really? But I guess. Was it three in a row? Isn't it? That's is it, like four in a row. It's no, regular size. No. I promise. <laughs> regular. Regular. So five four. Sure. Something five like four. That. All right. We'll like go that. with five sure. four. Five four. Don't even be, <laughs> don't even worry about it. Fair. It's out there. That's all right, man. <laughs> it's out there. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> all right, dude. What's your top goal? My top goal. Did shit. you get the wiener bigger? <laughs> Take some pills to fix that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude. Two and a half weeks from now, he's like, well, that was it. Shit, man. My goal. Yeah, probably to fucking make some sort of living out of this rap shit. Like, if I could, if I could, like. Are you getting paid from uh, 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 MT Pints? Pints. We haven't done the show yet, but... No, you have in the past. Fucking... Actually, well, here's the thing. We did shows in the past. I actually didn't take any money from them. I could have, but I was just kind of like, do it for free, especially... And it was like my buddy shit. You know what I'm saying? So like If you're my, good at something, don't do it for free. For my free. My friend Nico. Exactly. I don't know. That's not how you get paid. But, you know... I figure... I know, and I feel you. But that's kind of what the thing was. Especially if you want to get paid from this rap shit. But I haven't done like a full show yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've kind of just opened up for people. You know what I'm saying? Like my buddy Nico. That's fine. And That's a show. What's a set usually Roger. for you? Oh, I'll do like 20, 30 minutes, something like that. That's a big I, set. I mean, Actually, that's good. That's a big set. Usually people will have me come on first to kind of warm up the crowd, you know? Do you, are you engaging? What up? Do you engage? Engage you, the crowd? Yeah. Or is I it you just, so. Or do you kind of just hit the, the stage? And no, I you? definitely try to like work with the crowd a bit. You know, I'm not one of those dudes that's just rapping like a robot up there. I <laughs> definitely. <laughs> some people it works, dude. Yeah, some people it works for that. You know what I mean? And I think you got to find the right mix. I think some rappers come out, they're working the crowd so much, they're not even spitting the bars. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they're just turning up and trying to get people hype. I think you got to find the right balance where you're. You know, you're on beat, you're spitting the shit, it sounds nice, almost like it does on the record, but you still got that energy and you're that's hyping it. up the crowd and whatnot. That's dope. That's a good, that's a good answer. Right. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Top goal is to get paid, huh? Yeah, just trying it. to trying to do something I love, man. That's all. Uh, I mean, that, I mean, that's a pretty broad goal. You know what I mean? Like, get oh, paid. You know, you, I want you know numbers, mean, like, bro. Like, honestly, like, like, you want how many how many copies of a mixtape or an album are you trying to sell? You know, off top. Like, dude, to be for like for real, if I could tour, like if I could go on a tour, and like feed myself and the people around me off of a tour, like yeah, or a mixtape. I mean, like yeah, just as long as I could go on the road and do what I like to do and get paid, that's like a victory. That's are you the trying goal. to sign anyone or get? I mean, not 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 you. You're not in yeah. position to sign. Are you trying to sign to anyone? Not really right now. I mean, fuck. We if don't. If it presented itself, would you? Maybe, but yeah. I think. Here, like kid, to, give like to keep, Warner Brothers a shot. We like to keep okay. it uh, as homegrown as possible, you know what I'm saying? We like to stay... Montana's that way, dude. Creative Our control. brother's that way, fucking Nardi and them boys are that way. Right. You know what I mean? They just want to keep it independent as a motherfucker, dude. And that's definitely what we've been trying to do, is like do everything ourselves, you know? Pretty much. Like, yeah, that those mixtapes I gave out, like I make the artwork for those. We cut those shits out ourselves, put them in there. We write on all the CDs. Like, we do it all Do you know who still ourselves. does that? That, that makes money like a motherfucker, dude, is Yellow Wolf and Caskey. Yeah. Mm. Their album, they pressed it themselves. All the merch, they dipped and fucking tie-dyed themselves and sent out. Right. And they sold out, dude, and they got fucking bank. They said that was one of the highest paydays they got was their merch. Hell yeah. And then I almost went to Caskey in Salt Lake City, but... Really? He was there when you were there? No. Like, just recently. Oh, dude. I about went with Blaze. Caskey's fires, fuck, dude. He went and seen Caskey. He was going to normal. He didn't go him. either. No. That's a damn shame, dude. Yeah. That fucking boy rips. Yeah. Um, it's only an eight-hour drive, six-hour drive. Yeah, no shit. I bet you, probably during that time, I bet you tickets were down too. Plane it was tickets. only a month ago. Plane tickets were probably oh, cheap. plane. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess. I think so, dude. Like fucking Cheyenne flew to Florida like was for six hundred bucks okay. round trip. That's not bad. Not bad at all. That's cheap, bro. All right. So we asked Ryan, was like, hey, you got any topics you want to bring? He says, I like, I love cereal. Oh, fuck yeah. So 
What's your favorite type of cereal, man? Dude, and I'm going to be Top real. five cereals. I don't want to hear Top the five cereal, y'all, yeah. Y'all might be mad at me because my favorite cereal, a lot of people disagree. I'll fucking fuck with Raisin like, Bran? I fuck with Corn Flakes, man. I fuck oh, yeah, I like, dude. I, like I love cereals, Corn Flakes, cereals. dude. I love I think if you're going to be like a cereal connoisseur, dude, you got to love the planer shit, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. People think it's all about the sugar and all that. That's, no, dude. That's corn extra. Flakes. Dude, I love, I love Little fucking, honey scooters, dude. Right. Dude, I love Raisin Bran. I have... Two things Tide here. loves raisin bran. That's yeah, very true. I do, right? bro. And don't get me wrong, man. I love the sugar cereals. You know, I love fruity pebbles. That's but if my, there's a new I mean, cereal, fruity pebbles in my top five. Fruit Loops. But if sure. I'm going down the loops cereal aisle, sure. and I don't go grocery shopping too often, I don't got the patience for it. But <laughs> but if I do go, and it's the, the kid and I and the wife, and I see a new cereal, I get it. Oh man. And then I try it, and then she gets mad because it doesn't get eaten. Right. It's risky trying out the different. Like, I, I the love that brands. though. It's like, like I'll try it. it could be real my kids miss. like it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, we were walking down the aisle the other day. We saw they made a cosmic brownie cereal. That sounds good. Okay. Okay. I, I thought would have got you guys it. Tried that. I I've looked at it. I was more intrigued by the uh, cinnamon roll uh, frosted uh, frosted mini wheats. Oh shit! That oh, looks, that sounds that good, looks smack, dude. Yeah. That that does that, does, that see, sounds that good, sounds bro. That sounds smack, right? Yo. Yep. I can fuck throw a little, that. Yeah, throw a little bit of cinnamon in the middle of those. That's fire already to me. Hell yeah. What's man. your favorite old cereal that you don't see anymore? Old cereal? Yeah, like discontinued. Ooh. Good one. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, blueberry muffin top. Damn, you got me. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I can't think of any cereals that have been discontinued. What? I think, fuck, most of the cereal I've eaten is still around. Then you ain't eating enough cereal, bro. Yep. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what, what about that, Ty? What about that two pound bag of fucking uh, rice pops? Rice puffs. Those were awful, dude. They're terrible. Those but they're were a dollar. The, those were the worst, dude. That was like commodity cereal, bro. For real. Sold in bulk. It was just like, holy fuck, this is really That's how bad. you know you're fucking poor, dude. Like, we grew up too poor where, like, we got a lot of commodity shit in the rice puff. Don't sleep on the cheese, though. That was tough. No, you don't sleep on commodity right. cheese, dude. That's the best, bro. Uh, if 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 someone says any other cheese is better than commodity cheese, then they're fucking high. Right. But a good competition for cheese is taco treat cheese. Taco treat cheese. It fucks, dude. Yep. But I think, uh, dude, I feel like but. that is commodity cheese. Like, almost the same blocks. Sugar. Oh, mom said sugar pops. Uh... That's but what, what, they're not called sugar pops, are they? They're called uh, su- sugar smacks or smacks. Honey, smacks, honey smacks. Fucking yeah. corn pops are fire. Corn puffs, golden puffs. Or yeah, what? those are dope. Oh, pops uh, are good. I think one of my favorite is uh, honeycomb. I used to love it. I burnt out on it, man. That's why I got it. You got to keep switching it up, man. I'm a night mm. cereal eater too. I'm not a Same. morning cereal. That's guy. actually my. I, feel you. I don't eat terrible breakfast. habit. I know I don't eat breakfast. I'd be lucky to eat. Jason Red Rain. Oh. Um, um that's funny. <laughs> um I'll call him back. <laughs> you, know oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll get there. Next topic. So we, we brush on uh, a little bit of cereal shit. What do you what do you got with Mac, dude? You're wearing a Mac Miller hat. Your music oh, yeah. your music vibes in the Mac vibe. For sure, man. Um to be honest, I really thought that was gonna be your influence. Your 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 inspiration. The first one, oh, yeah. yeah. Because that's around that same time. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, on that same yeah. time, bro. Yep. Cause that's because I went to his live shit in 2011. Of the kids' album. And that's Two, fucking crazy. Yeah. I can't believe you saw him live. Like, I'm jealous. Like, One of my buddies got you know, to see him live. And I'm, I'm yeah. 100% honest shit. that I wasn't there for Vi- I, I wasn't there for Matt, dude. I was there for YG. And because yeah. YG, oh, man. YG just got fucking popping. That was that 400 album. Degrees mixtape. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even an album. It wasn't even signed to no one yet. Oh, that's true. True. And he was still on the college, like he was riding the college wave, dude. He was hitting right. rap parties, and you know what I mean. So he finally got on the tour with Mac, and I was like, dude, this guy, fucks, dude. Me, actually, me and Levi made a bet, like years ago, that who's gonna be a bigger artist, YG or Tyga? And I don't, you know, neither one of us lost that because those motherfuckers. But then we also had another one. It was Yellow Wolf and who? Um, MGK, I think. And I think you went MGK. Yeah, I did go MGK. I think. No, I would have went yellow because I was fucking no. around with yellow. Was it? I don't know. Either way, the, we, had, we had four people out there. Mm-hmm. And I think it ended up really being even, to be honest with you. Yeah, they both, well, all of them blew up. I mean, yellow kind of. It's yeah, still relevant. He's relevant, but he's not who, I mean, he had a lot of potential and he's shady, dude. And he fucking, 
He didn't but, produce bad albums. No, I no, not 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 by any means. If I'm gonna rate them, I would say they're fucking both of them, all of them. Are, Isn't there three of them? Four for of them. Shady, three. Three? Yeah. He no, because the Ghetto Cowboy. That was under. Uh, that was his last one with Shady. Yeah. No. Yeah, huh, dude? He just Mm-mm. left fucking Shady like three years ago, and since then. He's yeah, like, Love Story. That wasn't his last album. Was that was? No, it wasn't. Oh no, it wasn't. Maybe it was a four album. Maybe he gave him the same contract that he gave Fifty Cent. Four albums, a million dollars. That sounds about right. Damn. Yeah. But Fifty Cent smart. Makes <laughs> makes money, dude. Had a dope crew behind him. If Yellow could have scored Ritz, then it, I mean they could have built a crew off of that. That'd have been good. Yeah. Or grab Kasky earlier because they're killing it. Yeah, Caskey and him's is fucking duet album. I never uh, reviewed it on here, I don't think. But that motherfucking album fucks. Did you listen to it? F- four out of five. Mm. Can't no. say You don't listen to either of those guys? No. What? Mm. Being a white guy that raps, <laughs> that don't listen to Caskey or Yellow Wolf, that's fucking insane. Trunk Music 3? <laughs> Any of it? No, I can't say so, man. Trunk Music those 3? Those are rapper rappers, Shit, only... dude. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to think. Yeah, the only like white rappers I really listen to are Mac and Action. Action Bronson. Wow. Definitely heavy on the Action Bronson. Crazy. I don't fuck with him too much. Man, heard, you got to fuck with Action, man. I, I've heard a couple of his songs. It's not really No mine. Jelly Roll? Mm. No Haystack? Wow. Nothing? No, nah, man. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm disappointing you guys. No, you're not. Nothing disappoints <laughs> us. Dude. We disappoint ourselves. We've heard it all already. Yeah. No, I feel you. We've heard people that like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Come on the podcast talking about Trump. Yeah, oh, dude, you God. would be surprised, dude. We've been through. You'd be I surprised. Dude. We've been through the ringer on this thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, be, like from people not liking sports. Like, because we only have twenty six episodes out there, but we've probably mm-hmm. filmed forty. Forty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So, so now we go live. So if we lose it, where like, where this deep love and Mac Miller come from? For you. Yeah. Man, pretty much so. Like, like I said, yeah, like, I came up, he was definitely one of the big influences. But I honestly, I didn't really, like, I fucked with him, right? Like, everybody hears, like, Nike's on my feet, you know, the yeah, classics. Everybody knows the classics, you know? Yep. But it wasn't until he dropped a Good AM. Okay. Once Good AM came out, that kind of changed the whole way I looked at him, and I definitely became, like, a hardcore when, Mac head. When he changed, dude, you can tell when he started using heroin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, his whole... It shifted. You can hear it in the mixtape. I heard shit. people that said they don't even listen to him after... Fuck. Um, I mean, the last three albums... Maybe it was albums, about good out AM. The I last did. three albums that he put out, dude, weren't really rap. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. He well, was supposed to go... Actually, actually he was doing a three-part. Swimming was... Uh, the I hybrid. Guess, I was going to say, yeah. It's yeah, a there mixture. you go. It's and then mixture. the fucking, like, the... Singy songy one. Singy songy one circles, and then we were supposed to do a rap one. Was supposed to come next. But. Yo, mom's is like circles is fire. Of course, she, <laughs> she loves circles. Dude. It's such Fucking a good, great album, man. Will you grab five. that while she's on there? What Came through rapping for sure. Grab what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, just that album, Good AM, man. I just remember that inspired my whole like when I first started making mixtapes. So, that's what's up, man. First. <laughs> All right, so. It's later, but I don't know how long mom's going to be on here, so I'm just going to bring it out right now. So, my mom and Roy boy got me the Circles vinyl, clear. Fuck yeah, man. It's got this sick-ass poster in it. It's actually badass. Show everybody on there, too. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Incredible, actually. So, thank you, mom. Thank you, Roy. I have a question for all you Mac motherfuckers. Do you think Ariana is to blame? No. I, I don't know, man. I don't think anybody's... Mm, still... She got a bad rap for it for a long time. And I think that's like toxic I mean, it didn't, as hell. It didn't help. <laughs> you know, I think that's you know, toxic. But, uh, no, I had to get over that. Yeah, me too. It's... I fuck with Ariana, dude. Like, like honestly, I think... I no called matter... her a bitch at first. No, like... it's whoever did the, sold the fentanyl. It's fault. No, it's his, dude. I think, I mean, yeah, that's the it, thing you got to realize. It's both. No matter what, really. it's... I mean... It's Mac's fault, man. And he he's a what, drug addict, dog. He yeah, right. what he's doing. And some people were surprised. And I was uh, definitely, I mean, it was surprising. But he knew what he was doing, man. He was a well, drug I knew addict. he was on drugs for so he, long, though. You know what I mean? Like, I expected it. You know what I mean? He literally like, documented it. He made full mixtapes yeah. about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, yeah, dude. His SoundCloud's full. It's not like he tried to hide it a little bit. You know what I mean? Have you like, even heard the Faces album at all? I don't think so. Damn, dude. That was fucking fire. Yeah. Faces. Top two for me. Faces. No shit. Fire. Good AM, number one. Faces. And then swimming. 
Those, okay. are, those are my top three, man. Swimming is such a good album, too, man. Swimming's fucking good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Swimming is like life force. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah, uh, it seems it, it, it seems to be every Mac Miller is like fan like a real Mac Miller fan always says swimming, dude. Like I, I always say circles, good, dude. Though, I always dude. say circles is better, dude. I, I, I can't. I don't think their sister that. album, so they're they're say. just as good, dude. I love them both. But circles, you got to keep in mind, is unfinished. You know, like swimming was the last one that he made that he had the final say. I like, don't he think was so. Right? I don't able understand to sit there because his mom is like. Like overseeing or everything, dude. Like, so she didn't want to put out shit that that's, wasn't. Yeah, done. that's why they put out right oh, yeah. and floating. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Like, so every song that you heard on there was finished in order. You know what I mean? Like, that was where he wanted that shit. Uh, but they actually, I don't think they were. I think John Bryan did a lot of cleaning up on the production side. Maybe because, mastering. You know what we, I mean? We found versions of those songs. Like, I remember back in the summer before that album dropped, they were coming up with all kinds of leaks. And you can find versions of songs off of Swimming that have totally different beats you know what i'm saying where it's the same recording that happens but a lot to every rapper they though change you know what i mean song. someone got a hold of lyrics you know i recorded version of mm-hmm. the lyrics I'll and then real. did some shit i don't think circles is finished i think that if he was around to finish it it would sound a little different i think it wouldn't be exactly how we heard it if, I, if honestly, it would be different i'd be to a be little upset you, because it is so good to it be, is very to be 100 percent, i don't even but. think blue world would be on there like if he was alive and he had the choice to make it i don't think blue world would be on there that's an awesome song dude it's a fuck it's incredible yeah. but i literally think he probably would have just let that one sit but i think it was john Bryan really see and i think it would be family. like surf i mean surf's good but i don't i don't know i literally th- i honestly i don't know yeah it's weird it's fun talking about this with mac fans i almost think he was going more in the surf direction with it I think yeah. if he had the choice to finish nah, it, cool. he was so fucking bummed think, out still, dude. He was so depressed, dude. Like, that's why the whole album was designed around depression. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, all the shit he was making. It was super time. depressed music. Sure. And it's called heroin music. That's literally when people are on the verge or you see them in active heroin use. You see it on a lot of artists, dude. Like, that's heroin style fucking music, dude. And it, it matched it well, dude. And, and I think that was the vibe he was after. He was just in the dumps. He didn't right. feel it. Yeah. And I think one thing is important to keep in mind that Swimming in Circles, they were made at, like, the same time. You know, like, they kind of, yeah, they coexist mm-hmm. because he was working on Circles at the exact same time as Swimming. And honestly, I'm sure parts of s- songs from Swimming could have ended up on Circles and vice versa. You know, it I really, can see that. It could have flopped any other way. You can almost see Perfecto flopped, on Circles to me. Well, you, dude, like, you just I feel like you could swap swimming. that song out. Yeah. What does he say? Like, the last Four, part, maybe, Blue World. To switch up that flow a little bit on swimming. Uh, Blue Roll belongs on circles, in my opinion, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's such a fucking... It's a vibe. It's a vibe. That whole album's a vibe, dude. I feel 100%. It. No, yeah, Blue World... Like I said, I'm, st- I'm stuck on the song Right right now. Right is incredible. But then off of swimming, I'm stuck on Wings, so... Oh, I love know. Wings. Yeah, you're just bringing <laughs> up all my favorite shit. Right, right it's like... <laughs> if you love it, you love it, though. Oh, Facts. Yeah. So you Definitely. like movies, man. You said it's a hobby of yours. Yeah, well, it's honestly something we picked up pretty recently, actually. We've just been sitting around the crib. We go to Mike's movies. We like to rent a couple every week. Do you, ask, do you ask, like, hey, what's a good shitty movie? Nostalgia, I love dude. I love that, that style, that. dude. That's... We find some shitty ones. We found one called uh, Snake Out of Compton. Shut up. Dude, if that you sounds want... like a porno. Yeah. Fuck, man. It wasn't. <laughs> He's like, I was in the, I I was in the 18 was. plus <laughs> section, I swear to God. <laughs> Snake out of Snake Compton. out of Compton. You want to see a shitty movie? There you go. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Saw one. Called. What kind of movie was it? Like a hood movie or what? Yeah, it takes place in Compton. Pretty much, there's a big snake. I mean, what else do you need? To <laughs> oh know? my god, no way. <laughs> yeah. Just roaming around, like, <laughs> right? And then somewhere in there, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, it's a motherfucking snake. <laughs> I don't know. Something. That's fucking but. hilarious. And then yeah, we watched another fucking shitty one called Robo Croc. That was a fucking weird one. It's like, yeah, those low-budget ones that are kind of trying to be scary, but it's, like, fucking hilarious. So there used to be a really bad movie that me and Austin always watched. It was like, I've tried talking about it before, dude. You don't remember? They lived in houseboats, and it was a big-ass fish, and it wasn't called Big Fish. Nah. Nothing? No, nah, dude. Have you it, was like, it was like Anaconda, but not. Called Big Fish or something? Like, not Big Fish? Hmm. Like Big Piranha or something? I don't remember. Piranha? Was it? There is a movie called Piranha. Is it bad? I do remember it's a seeing movie, that. Yeah. Oh, it might have been Piranha then. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember watching it and I was like, dude, that's this, cool, man. This is so bad. I like shit. I like that hobby, dude. Like, oh, yeah. the nostalgia of going to Mike's video alone sure. is cool. But man. then if you start and watching like older flicks, you can have better references. 
No, we, and we like to you no, know, yeah, and totally. That's the idea. We pick a lot of movies that are classics, and I draw inspiration for when I'm writing. Tombstone. You know what I'm saying? What's your What's your take on Tombstone? I can't. I don't. I haven't seen Tombstone. I still Ooh. gotta check it out. I'll rent it next time we go. There you go. Sure. All right, Tombstone, right? Those are fucks, and I expect to hear it in your songs, dude. Shit, <laughs> that movie. Yeah, sucks, say. Dude. Right. What are the you gonna fuck. stand there and bleed, or are you gonna do some? Oh fuck, dog. <laughs> Man, we brought, uh, we rented Rush Hour two Dope. because we watched Rush Hour one, so we're getting that. Is that one. You're just not watching them. Yeah. Damn. Pretty much. Times? Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, some of them we've seen before. A lot of them we haven't. You know. Sure. What's your I've favorite seen. movie of 2021? 2021. I honestly haven't seen any Have movies are dropping this year. Mm-hmm. HBO fucking, Max. I still thought everything was shut down. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Godzilla. I was gonna say Godzilla oh, yeah. was probably Godzilla. the best one that came out. Okay, I haven't, I haven't seen any of these shits, yeah, really. Yeah, name something better. Right. I mean, uh, Snyder Cut. Oh, Cinder Cut. Yeah, that's Snyder good. Cut of Justice League was dope as fuck, dude. And A we better movie the... in 2021. Yeah, that's good, dude. Um, I can't think of any. We watched I the... thought one just came out. Okay. The... Oh, Army of the Dead? Oh, that was really Maybe. good. Oh, that was really good, too. I can say I know there was actually a good movie. I fuck with that. That movie was a good movie. You watch that one. Mm-mm. That's dope, dude. So if you like zombie flicks, out this year. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. What right. about The Orphan? I'll peep you. I don't watch what? horror movies, dude. What is it? The Orphan. Mm-mm. Is, that, is that a classic or new? It's a classic. I, okay. Dude, I was listening to it. It's one of the best, actually, dude. It's actually sure. one of the best head trips you ever dude, seen. my homie's been trying to put me on to the horror movies for sure. We've been watching. They're so okay. Don't I mean? Unless you're, are you scared? Oh, no, not really. I don't get scared. Okay, because it's nothing, there's nothing to be scared of. All these movies are so funny, like The Boogeyman. I was just that what I was laughing Dude, my I ass literally off. was just going to say that, dude. I watched a commercial watching the NBA playoffs today, and the co- commercial was for The Conjuring, and it said, The devil made me do it. And I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so fucking funny, dog, because I'm so an, like, anti religion, you know what I mean? Like, like Christian almost, like, because, like, like they 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 uh they have a religion organized around fear. You know what mm, I mean? Christianity totally. is like, oh dude, you better do this, otherwise you go to hell. So like when I read that, I was all like, Shine, next time I do anything bad, I'm gonna say I'm doing it because Valhalla made me do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so stupid. Oh, you haven't talked about that. Uh I want I I'm not gonna talk about I could talk about it, you know, in our randoms. Actually that's a really good decision, yeah. I'm gonna definitely bring that okay. up. Okay. Yeah. I didn't say because people are, would be lost at that point. My son keeps blowing my phone up. Sorry if you guys heard vibration, but he keeps fucking blowing it up. Um, Anyways. So you guys are called Brain Trust. Who's all in it? Brain Trust. That's uh, myself, my homie Mikey. Mikey, AKA, why don't you come up in the camera? Yeah, Mikey, get out here. For a second. He's like, I've been filming. Introduce yourself for a second. Yeah, he's you gotta he's get doing it. behind the scenes here, right now. Call it right here, bro. Hold on. Oh, I guess where I mean, yeah, I was just going to give him the mic right here. Oh, okay. But this is my oh, brother. He goes by this. Citrine. He's hey, a rapper. What's up? You probably see me around town. I see me doing something. I'm Citrine. Fuck yeah. I have no idea what he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he hella fucking faded, bro. It's we'll all talk, good. We'll talk quiet around here. I'm a mumbler. <laughs> but I ain't a mumble rapper, you feel? All right. Mikey's got bars. I'm feel, bro. And I say that he's one of the realest rappers. Brain trust all full of real people doing real things. For sure. All right. He's real a fucking people doing real things. Type. Hell yeah, Doc. Fuck yeah, right. the homie's mad talented for sure, for real. He said, "I mumble, but I ain't no mumble rapper." You heard me? <laughs> like, yeah, I got you, Doc. Don't hey man, it. what about the first set of? I was like, huh? They call me Sarie. Boom, we call it. I was, I was like, like, all right, man. Uh, I looked at him. I was like, <laughs> Dad's uh, like, I don't even know. What the fuck did he say? <laughs> oh, yeah, brain fucking... trust. Who's the other cats? Brain trust. Yes, yeah, me, Mikey, fucking just Nico. That's the other homie. He's kind of he... kind of an R and B guy as well. And then we have Austin, aka Squints. And that's pretty much those are all the cats. And then we got a bunch of other people that are kind of behind the scenes, just homies. Your brother, you're not I brain trust at all. Chris, are you like the editor? Chris, yeah. Editor, as in like. See, what? he does the filming. He does the music. You can't videos. leave your man. You can't leave your brother out, bro. He why didn't you bring? It. Why didn't you bring a camera? We're pissed off. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we um, had it ready, and then we fucking got stoned and forgot it. <laughs> I heard that. And then I got high. And then I got. Dude, Afro Man's concerts are lit. I don't say fun, dude. They're fun, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Because everybody knows most of the songs. Right. We're born. It's in our DNA, dude, knowing that shit. You just come out of the womb. You're like, and then I got, and then I got. <laughs> yeah. 
da, 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 da. Born in the nineties, dude. That's I was gonna grab good. my camera, and then I got high. Then I got high. I left it on my porch. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, so you got any upcoming projects with your group? Oh man. So I'm working on an album right now. Solo, solo or solo, pretty much. What about your group? Uh, we're not really working on a group album right now. We're all kind of so trying who to does do beats? Do our own thing. Everybody. We, we all dabble in beats. You know what I'm saying? We so all is your album going to filled with your beats or are you buying beats? I'm honestly, I'm, it's kind of early to tell. We're kind of in the early stages. I don't know if I'm going to rap over all my beats. Honestly, I think it'll be a mix. We'll do YouTube beats mixed in with a couple of original productions. So are you taking samples then? Not when I make my own beats. When I make my own but beats. But you said YouTube beats. So like you did beats. say YouTube beats. YouTube beats. What about, what, samples? It they depends. call them samples, you know. What yeah, I mean? it depends on if the. Producer Are you using the whole three minute thing? Yeah, no, so that's a sample. I guess full yeah. yeah. one. Yeah, it's a sample. For the, they so producers put those out there, in case an artist likes it, and then they'll right. buy their fucking beats. Well, no, I definitely buy the beat. So like, I go on YouTube, I'll find the beat, I'll record something, and if I fuck with it, and if it's good enough to be on the album, I'll go to the beat maker's page, I'll buy it, and then fucking uh, wait, oh shit, what was I saying? But yeah, then I buy the beat. Fuck, I'm stoned. I f totally forgot where I was going with this. Because <laughs> nobody wants to hear your song and then like four or five songs down the line for some god-awful reason. No, yeah, totally. They hear that same beat and you're like, wait a minute. Like the beatbox mm. freestyles. You know, um, I get what, it if it's true? a freestyle. It, but if it's on someone's LP, dude... I don't want to hear something. I don't want to hear that fucking beat, dude. Like, again, yeah, again, right? Yeah. Like, I bought this one beat. We're going to play it three times this album. Yeah. Right. Oh. Like, okay. You know what I mean? No, not that, but like on someone else's I'm record. I'm just fucking with you, dude. On someone else's record. You know Chill. what I mean? That'd be like fucking embarrassing to the artist and to the person who fucks with that artist. You know what I mean? Like, oh, wait. I thought this was produced and shit by you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, that's that's just. Sure. Um, so when's your solo LP supposed to be done? You got uh, a date? You got a nah, time there's no frame? date yet. I'll say I just dropped something called Waves 2. That's up on my SoundCloud and YouTube, all that, iTunes. Or not iTunes, but Apple Music. and Waves 2, jazz. is that a part one? Waves 2, yeah, there is a part one. And I made part one many years ago when I was like a freshman. It was one of the first things I made. So this is kind of a statement of like how far we've come since okay. then. And okay. That's pretty you can do much a that. series? Yeah, it's going to be Waves 3. And like you're Eventually. Progressing. I think there probably will be a Waves 3 at some point. We just got to see. I like see. series. I'm a fan of series, dude. People who progress in that fashion yeah. and keep that same style. The hunger for more. Oh, yeah. I had this series called The Rap Chronicles back when I was in high school. And we did three installments of that. And I kind of, yeah, after the third installment, I was like, I don't want to make, like, Rap Chronicles, like, fucking seven. Because, you know, like, sequels get crazy. Nah, you know what fuck I'm saying? that, dude. Nah, dude, the Joker did it for 12 or 13 times. The dedication albums, mm. dude. You got fucking well done albums, dude. You have people who can do it and do it well, dude. Okay. Like, they yeah, and I feel you. Don't the, stop doing it. Yeah. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. Mm. That's fucking right, dude. And I think, I, I hate a rapper like Lil Wayne right now. I've talked about it before, dude. You don't go from being that motherfucker and then switching your entire setup, dude. Now your old fans are like, that shit is whack. Like MGK. MGK is a perfect example, dude, because he had it going, and then because he got a little bullied by Eminem, he completely switched up. Don't what do you think of Bloody Valentine? But is that a what? I don't even know what you're talking about. He doesn't listen to white rappers. Don't listen to white rappers, man. That's true. I'm racist. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I'm going to clip that. <laughs> if there's and any, I'm gonna put I'm dude, a, I'm that's a, the title. If there's bro. anything you can take away from this podcast, it's that. <laughs> that that's the title okay. right there. You think that I am racist? Dot dot dot. JK. <laughs> no, that's that's the title, bro. What? That's the title. Weekly Bus episode twenty six with Ryan the Kid. Well known racist. I am racist. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It's funny. All right. I can see that, and then we could not see that. You know what I mean? And then they're like, they get into the episode, and they realize that he's like, I don't even listen to white rappers, dude. Racist against whites. I'm trying to think. Okay, I guess I listen to a little bit of like, fucking. You know, Jeezy. Jeezy. Yeah, I probably not. Holy shit! That's all I had not, to hear. Honestly, not anymore. Honestly, I used to. I fucked with his old shit. You know, back when he used to sample a lot. 
I'm not really a fan of the new stuff. What much. about like Harry Mack? Harry Mack. I, Harry Mack. He kind of looked like Harry Mack. He, he's a freestyle guy, right? On yeah, on Omegle and I shit. Guess I haven't looked into him too much, but I definitely I saw. Something. Oh, I'm in his Discord. Dude, it's for you. I was fucking on YouTube the other day. I saw he was freestyling for nine hours straight. Harry Mack. Yeah, you go. Shit, nine dude. hours straight for nine thousand, like nine hundred thousand mm-hmm. subscribers. Is that the guy in the kitchen? No, he sits on his computer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He did one in the kitchen about eggs, this and that, 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 that you know what I mean? I know no. he did. Dude. What I, about high res? High res is uh, sick. I don't really. I I don't haven't looked into him too much. I guess yeah, he's a dude. What about that a, one? What about that one that uh, did the song from Tom Arnold, uh, McDonald or whatever? Tom McDonald. Oh fuck! Okay, yeah, I, I saw some of his shit for sure. I saw that the but other. But you ain't day. fucking with it. I don't know if I'm fucking with it to be honest. <laughs> I saw it. I don't. <laughs> I don't fuck with it too much either, man. Like I, I that's a few Tom McDonald songs I listen to. He did a couple. I just saw he recently did like a tribute <laughs> song couple. to like Eminem. All right, so who yeah, who are your um? Who's like your? Do you listen to like talk shows? Oh, like yeah, for sure. I, I fuck with Conan O'Brien, or I guess that's not listening. That's watching a talk show. Damn, what? dude, that, that's like old school talk show, dude, man. He has a podcast now. I love Conan O'Brien. Does he really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got a uh, Conan O'Brien needs a friend. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, he's fucking yeah. He's a big influence. He definitely fucking. He's kind of funny. He lifts dude. my spirits, man. All the time. I like Conan O'Brien from fucking back in the day on NBC. Right. Fuck yeah. Yeah, when we were kids. We shaking that orange hair around. Yeah, but yeah. always dancing like a motherfucker. But that meant like um, other podcasts and shit like, like that. Like Jude. Like Rude Giul- Ru- Giuliani. Yeah. On Shade 45. Oh, okay, yeah, I watch a little bit Rude of... Rude the, the All Out show. You yeah. know, I watch fucking... Well, you gotta, like, read his books, dude. Those are the best. Yeah. I watch all the rap shows, you know, like fucking, you Sway. know, Sway and Hot 97 and yeah. all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Could you believe that we are Sway of Hot 97 of Montana? E. Yeah. I believe that. <laughs> we Actually, could be. I do believe that. We dude. could be. You just gotta get the hat going. Nah, like, <laughs> I think that. I mean, cause we're we're a desired podcast in the area, man. Like people want to fucking be on the show. Like, I really don't want you on the show if you ain't wanting to be on the fucking show. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like. A, or if you're trying to rush me. Like yeah, that. yeah, dude, you Cause gotta have patience, cause we have a lineup and shit, dude. A lineup. We got like shit that always goes on. Yeah. It's a patient fucking thing, dude. For the you show. know, like, like you were supposed to be here last week, and I asked you to move it back. No, you know yeah. I mean, twenty like you're all good, man. Barely twenty four hours to events. Who did we bring in? I forgot, man. Oh yeah, that was a fucking dope episode, dude. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah, that about that one. one. Kai Stewart, man, shout out to you and your fighting shit, dude. He just messaged me right before I got in here. No. Yeah. Wow. About some, he took pre uh, pre workout straight to the fucking dome, no water. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. The Damn. fuck's your deal, man? <laughs> I mean, I seen him on his little TikTok. Yeah, that's he said. But he was shooting pre to fucking get back in it. Fucking nuts. If you know what that means. <laughs> oh, about to uh, get some puss? Yeah. What a thug, dude. Hell yeah. Good on him. Good on you, mate. <laughs> uh, music. So I guess we're brushing on that. You don't fuck with white rappers, which is insane to me. Who do you fuck with? Right. Like, what kind of, like, style, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like New York, West so, Coast. Yo, TDE. Y'all know? Okay, y'all yeah, up on TDE. of course. Y'all love TDE. TDE all the way. Anybody who's in TDE is fucking sick. Top dog entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a huge Kendrick guy, dude. But I do. Like, I am I, a I, huge Dude, I heard you say fan. that on one of the other podcasts, yeah. man. You gotta you gotta get into Kendrick. Uh-huh. Man. It's just not me, man. I don't like, right. I don't like rappers that can't. Then. It doesn't have to be for It doesn't you. even have to be a hook, but I want a flow of a song. Or a fucking album. I, like, J. Cole's album, the reason why I gave him such J-Rock's a J-Rock's part of TDE. I know, I love J-Rock. J- Dude, I was bumping J-Rock earlier, man. Were you? I fuck oh, with yeah. J-Rock. Bumping J-Rock in the That's shower. That's a five <laughs> out of five. Redemption's a five out of five album. Pulling really? Through. Yeah, 100%, okay. dude. Um, And, dude, five out of fives for me, dude, like, I listen to a lot. Didn't he just dude, have another one, too? Guy, Definition dude. of Real? Uh, that That's Jay Stone. Right. That's Jay Stone. Jay Stone. Never mind. Yeah. Jay Stone's a see, and this is I love Jay Stone so like uh, to a point where I love him on the level of a lot of like my mm. he hasn't broke my top twenty yet, but he's going to be there I think. Fuck yeah. Um, his last two projects, I are on repeat in my Spotify all the time, and I still gave those albums like a four, four, three. That's and that's critical, you know what I mean? So if you make sure. a five out of five on me, that means you've dropped in my eyes. Some heat. Fire, yeah, dude. And Jay Rock happened to do that with Redemption. That was a perfect album. 
all the way through. My my reasoning behind not liking Kendrick as much as everyone dick rides his ass <laughs> is just the same reason that I'm gonna that I'm critical a three five maybe even a three three with fucking uh, J Cole J Cole's new album okay. because there there wasn't a fucking there was you, you there was no high points or low points in in any song you know what I mean it was the same fucking flow almost word like flow all the way through fucking the whole album. That's how Kendrick raps. Same flow. Every song. No doubt. You know what I mean? And I guess we're going to go right back to the saying, if it works, don't bro- if it wor- if it works, don't fuck it. No, because he it. got his K-Dot flow. No, man. It's the fucking same flow, dude, on yeah. everything, dude. And I fe- don't know, features man. and everything, dude. It's no, the same shit. That's false. That's how I know you just haven't listened yeah. to enough Kendrick. I've dude. listened to enough Kendrick to show myself I don't like Kendrick. Dude, dude like, you're talking about given albums. If you're going to talk about given albums, like five out of fives, like yeah, fucking... To pimp a butterfly <laughs> or good kid, <laughs> Mad City. We're talking, yeah, like top tier shit. Yeah, I think that's six out of five. To pimp a butterfly, to pimp a butterfly is off the meter. <laughs> like, like it's like, pretty I think ridiculous. Flip. Like I think, like after I heard that album, Kendrick Lamar, in my opinion, became the successor of Biggie Smalls. I like right away. I knew like this man was. That's like, such a weird thing, dude, to think about. That's a younger generation view, I think. Except for himself. Where's like, his music at? You ain't gotta lie to Kendrick. <laughs> Everything is yeah, I don't fuck with Kendrick like it that. It is true. We are sleeping. Like, uh, I mean, uh, we're waiting on everybody in TDE to do something. <laughs> I mean, good God. It, it well, has we been just years. got crashed, didn't we, from Schoolboy? Yeah, two year, two that was already. Bad. That shit was fire. Crash Talk. What do you, what'd you rate that? Crash was sick. Dude. I love Crash Talk, too, though. Man. So it's like a 4-3. F- four, four, yeah, I was going to say 4 Four six for me. I love it. Actually, I, I listen to it all the time. Crash was dope, dope man. What about like the um, the testing album ASAP? Four, solid four. Yep. Okay, I'll go four two with it. I'll fuck with it. ASAP. The whole crew. I fuck with ASAP. Dude, mm. take it then. Two chains. What's your favorite two chain song? That's hard. Uh, Why do you ask that? That's a good uh, like question. You ask that though a lot. That is actually it's hard to because he has a lot of dope shit. It's because dude, two chains is so ill. He, but he features on a lot. You know what I mean? And then he yeah. ends up owning it that can, song. Exa- okay. You well, know what I mean? Like, not my fault. I can't spit harder than two too. chains. Drake does that too. You know what I mean? Like oh, uh, what's a, he jumps on the song and now it's a damn song. If I'm gonna go with Saturday Night. I think Saturday Night might be the best two chains I heard. It's like the intro to his uh, album, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music. Yeah. Okay. The intro to that shit is hard. <laughs> who who said Titty Boy? Two Chains. No, who said that? Said it. They're like, I like Titty Boy more than I like Two Chains. That's Nardy, I think. Really? I thought it was more recent than that. Really? Yeah. I feel like it was more recent than that. Was it Blaze? I think second it was, Blaze. I think it was Blaze, bro. Hmm. And I was like, nah, not a fucking close duffel bag boy and that whole shits. It was all right, dude. But like two chains, when he swapped up, man, I was like, "Damn, you ripping now, bro!" Like you got everybody's attention, dude. You have every. I like two chains' last album too. Yeah, he's just a consistent dude. You know what I mean? He like I, I'm not gonna say I'll, I'll I will go out of my way to fuck with him, but every time that I hear him, I'm like, "This shit's gang." Wait, was dude. it was his last shit like rapper go to the league, or has he dropped something since then? No, it was um, fuck, what's his last one called? It's uh, he just was like a teenager. I don't know why I can't. It's mm. drawing a blank. Uh, you right. know what I love about him? Is that he fucking opened up that uh, AIDS clinic out of his old trap house. Gang. That's uh, super, uh, super dope. Yeah. Someone said they didn't like 2 Chains because he, he couldn't go back uh, to his own hood. I was like, are you fucking stupid? I said he opened up an AIDS clinic at his old trap house. That's, I mean, what, 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 a, what, a, what a way to give back. Me and you know mom I mean? used to yeah. trap at the same house. <laughs> yeah. We used to go to sleep on the same couch. <laughs> that one's hard. That, that, that that's that the one with YG, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to okay. make my mama proud. No, 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 no. Mama ain't no hope. <laughs> <laughs> old school grind, whack ass rappers. So old school grind, I put that up there for you know how you guys pass out your CDs and. Hell yeah, man. I mean that's yeah that's kind of the way we've been looking at it. I mean yeah when I was in high school a lot of people they're like. Man, it's like this new, it's this new era in rap, man. People don't want CDs. People want to like, just put out singles on SoundCloud. But I, I honestly feel like SoundCloud is whack. I feel like I've done more giving out CDs in person than <laughs> any of these kids have putting out shit on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? You can put out one song on SoundCloud and have that do nothing. 
But you go to school with a bag full of CDs. I mean, that's going to do Did something. Did it work? Did you hear your music a lot? Oh, yeah. What school sure. did you go to? CMR? CMR, for sure. You look like CMR. Yeah, for sure. Well, Andrew said what? you aren't far from here, so. That doesn't mean he grew up here. Are you living at your mom's house, though? <laughs> yeah, man. We got the studio in the basement, for sure. Gang. <laughs> Nothing wrong no with shame it. In your and, gang, and the shirt sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> the sweatshop. <laughs> yeah, yo. Hey, he do. Mikey's like facts, dude. My thing, my fingers hurt, man. Right. Yeah, look at him. He's like, I'm over here fucking. He's over here sewing, cutting up, uh, right. sewing and stamping. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah, that old school grind. And we always figured, like, it's honestly, I feel like it was so much easier for me to make a name with the people at my school by yeah giving them a CD. Because yeah, like we said, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. It's something you can't deny. You know what I'm saying? Somebody says, "Bro, follow me on SoundCloud." You can be like, "Oh, whatever." But gay. somebody like I said about it. Yeah. SoundCloud's some, gay. Somebody gives you a CD in person. I mean, like you kind of have no choice but to listen to it or you fuck you. Get can curious. Them, like, it's yeah, exactly. you get curious enough, you're going to fuck with it. It'll plant it in Everybody your head, that's sure. handed me a CD ever I've played it. Exactly. Throw facts, it out dude, facts, exactly. dude. Even if I thought it was going to be bad, I was like, "Well, I'll give it a shot." First you know, Dude, I actually got a. If I don't fuck with it by song three, I just will put it away at that. I got point. an old CD from um, the Matt concert from a guy hustling. He followed them, never played a single song at the show, but followed their tour, and was handing out CDs at the side of his concert. That's wild. He's like, I've been following Mac and YG for a while. Mm. I don't get to perform. Maybe they'll ask one day. He was super humble. He's like, you want a CD and a shirt. I wore that shirt with uh, all the pot. It was like trade a kid or some shit. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, his his shit was fire. Was it? Yeah. It was hot? Dude, we listened to it all the way back from Oregon, dude. Metal, bro. Huh? Trade a kid's been getting played in metal. There we go. Yeah, been there you go, bro. Look at that. And I, I met that kid. I met that kid hustling mixtapes. I'm <laughs> following Max Tour, dude. Dude, it worked. Fuck yeah. Go him. That's crazy. Like, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah, and I guess that's always been the move. And the thing is, we always want the, fr- the CDs f- to be for free. You know, I always gave out the CDs for free. And then what I want to do is sell the merch. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause there was Why don't you of- do a bundle? Buy my shirt, get the CD. And that's definitely a thing, for sure. We definitely do the bundle. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah, I was influenced by, yeah, like, those p- cats I was talking about. You know, like, Chance the Rapper was a pretty big influence. I thought that was going to be huge he did when I first heard your music. And, uh, yeah, he did it all... Uh, independently you know that was the cool thing about chance is that like yeah he would put out the mixtapes like he's made i think he was the only one of the only artists that did it all like Like, producing artwork music he's made everything mastering chance yeah like he's made mixtapes that might as well have been albums and then he's toured those mixtapes and yeah made like yeah real rapper money off of that shit yeah and yeah i think that's the move you know you put it out for free on the internet especially since like all music's free now. I feel like if you're charging for music now, it's kind of outdated. If you were, if if it's you would have said that now. shit in front of Young Jeezy, dude, he would have fucking corrected you so fast <laughs> because he had Trapper Die, which sold two hundred thousand copies mm. locally in Atlanta off of that mixtape alone, dude. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? That's good. That's when Jeezy, like we all knew Jeezy was gonna fucking blew up, man. We're like, oh shit. And I used to fuck with Jeezy Tough. Hella hard, dude. What was your favorite song? Um, Jeezy like the drink. Jeezy like the smoke. Jeezy like the mix on a hammer with the coke. That one, yeah. Okay. That shit was hard, dude. And if any sub you have, that shit thumps super tough, dude. Quakes. Do you know anything about Three Six Mafia? Not Mafia. much. Not Mafia. much, man. I gotta say, I got ho- I got homies who are into it, but. Yeah, not really. You man. also don't fuck with Bone Thugs, too? No. Can't tell you, man. Wow, fuck. man. You got some homework to do. Yeah, I listen to, so, I listen okay, to mainly like, a lot of new cats, man. You know, Anderson Pack. He's that dope. I love an Anderson Pack, dude. Fuck he actually yeah. had one of the better songs on Eminem's uh, new one. On his newest uh, he, he, drop. Really, he always delivers on features and shit. Yeah, he does well. Like, that was one of my favorite songs on Eminem's newest album. No, yeah, for real. We saw him. Freddie Gibbs fan? Oh, fuck yeah. I actually do fuck with Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. Figured you knew that one. But, uh, no, yeah, we saw fucking uh, Anderson Pack live in Seattle on his last tour. Was he dope? He was fucking super dope. And fucking, he had Earl and Thundercat open for him. And it was goddamn incredible. It was, like, man, it was a vibe. And I'll tell you, Pack, like, a lot of people don't know. They kind of just think he's like an R&B guy. 
But Anderson Pack, he can fucking rap. No, he raps. Like dude. he can rap, he can dance, he can play the drums. I mean, he does it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, this is a rando topic, but we're just talking about rappers a lot during this set. So, so. Lloyd Banks has his new album coming out. Mm-hmm. And uh, Levi, you know the title of it? The uh, fuck. It's a the, difficult one, man. The I can't progress of of the inevitable. No, or the something the inevitable. Yeah. Uh, look it up, Levi. It's a fucking hard title, dude. And it doesn't surprise me, considering who Lloyd Banks is. Because, uh, you said you don't know... Do you even know who Lloyd Banks is? At all? Never even fucking heard of him. Okay, they call him the PLK, and this is rap known, dude. You can look it up. You can look it up right now. Just look up the the letters, PLK. It means the punchline king. He's a god amongst most rappers. And he hasn't dropped a solo album in a long fucking time, or even a project in a long time. He actually mm. said he was going to retire because he left June. And, and he's like, I'm done. The with course it. of the inevitable. The course of inevitable, yeah. Told you. The and that's, and that's, ju- that's, that's, that's dropping. It's the same fucking thing. The it's, progress. It's dropping next week. And uh, people pre-ordered. Yeah, it hit number your... one on uh, iTunes fucking pre-order already. It's fucking mm. people who love rap are excited for Lloyd Banks to drop. And... Yeah. Um, you, I mean, if you, dude, Lloyd, like someone said it the other day in a, in like a TikTok video when they're talking about Lloyd Banks, they're just like, Lloyd Banks back, he's like, people who don't understand are talking, uh, like Lloyd Banks ain't that motherfucking dude. Mm. He's like, are quick to forget that Lloyd Banks said shit that you would have to listen to two or three, four times to even understand or grasp the like, concept. He said he was so <coughs> lyrical. His last way. Freestyle was fucking fire. Yeah, dude, he's so lyrical that you're like, what did he just say? Let me hit the rewind again for the fourth fucking time, dude. Because, yeah, you'll get stuck on something, then the line after that's something harder. You're yeah, like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this ridiculous. motherfucker just did it again. It's ridiculous, dude. They call him the PLK, man. I I went through a Lloyd Bank phase for a while. Yeah. I, I mean, he's right so- around probably the time you were going through a Wiz Khalifa phase. Yeah, no, I believe that. Because it was just after Plies. Do you mm. even know who Plies is? Mm-mm. God damn. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. You, That's fucking insane. That's, I mean, <laughs> it's not that weird, though. That's why I, I'm like... It is weird. To you? I mean, but, it's weird for anyone that loves rap. I get... Okay. You know what I mean? Like, And he's a rapper. Because you'd figure... Yeah, yeah you'd want to figure out... Well, honestly, I get that huh? a lot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... But even, I mean, if, even if he is young, dude, these are such high-profile no, yeah, rappers, do. dude. That you would, the name alone should just be like, oh yeah, I know that. You know what I mean? Like these are people like that were had like platinum, number ones, like four platinum. Times, yeah. you know what I mean? Like platinum they were people records, at the time, you know. But did all that shit before we got into it. What? So you mean you weren't into rap at all? Not or listening to the radio when we actually had a fucking hip hop station? No. I, that is crazy. We literally got into rap like pretty much. What'd you listen to before that? The rap station was around for like a <laughs> year. Country fans? And then it, like country people it. or? No, like rock and roll. Like classic rock, you know, like fucking. What's your favorite music? classic rock? My yeah. favorite classic rock band would probably be The Who. The Who's tight. The Who. Okay. Nice drop. The Who's banging. Um, my dad. <laughs> so like my dad came too. up listening to a lot of Bob Dylan shit like that, you know? Bob Dylan. You gonna incorporate some of that rock influence into your music? Acoustic guitars <laughs> and. I don't know about acoustic guitars, but I definitely want to try to, yeah, definitely want to, I, w- I kind of try that sometimes. Some of those rap, like, my, some of my favorite rap songs ever are done with acoustic guitars, man. <coughs> like, Pac, some of his best records are acoustics. <coughs> you know what I mean? Fair? Yeah. Sorry. Nas does well with it. Um, piano and, tra- and uh, saxophone. I love both of those instruments. Me too, dude. Violin fucks too. <coughs> Violin? That's just annoying to me. What? Yeah. <coughs> Crazy, bro. I can't understand what a violin's saying. It's like the one instrument I don't understand. Sure. Like a fucking saxophone? Mikey out here dying still, bro. Sound like me mostly. <coughs> Are you on live? Uh, I'm not live. recording. Oh, okay. Tell me show. Everybody that joined the live, hello. Everybody that came and gone, goodbye. Cool. Drop and go. <laughs> um, Counts as a view. Levi, go ahead. It's hot in here, huh? It's it's f- f- These lights are hot, bro. 
<laughs> He's like, I'm sweating off the joint. No, it's fucking hot in here. Man. Yeah, these lights are hot. They Everyone sweats their fucking dick off in here, man. <laughs> yeah. Lights, the hot box. Uh, Mikey, dude. I know Mikey. I'm going to let him slide in here. He wanted to talk about female rappers. Up. I'll clean up what he don't talk about. Okay. Fair. Ooh. Come on, Mikey. Mikey. What What, what was it? Sarasota? It's a train. It's a train. On SoundCloud, Instagram. You got shit out? Yeah, he's got a couple tapes. Yeah, I only work on the SoundCloud stuff at the moment. I don't really have no stuff on the YouTube. Really? I used to be part of a group. And had Man, I might just you want to be a fist away, brother? Right. I used I to be part of like a... Piss? Nah, man. What's up, dude? I'll jump in your spot. Well, actually, he'll only be gone for a second. Right. That's a lot of gas. All right, Mikey. Yo, no, I've been on YouTube, Where, uh, and Apple Music, oh, and Spotify. Bad timing. I've been on YouTube, Apple Music, and Spotify before, but it was like before, like I don't know. I was part of a different group, and I don't think my uh, talent was anywhere near it or my skill level. And I think this is different. And right now, I'm just waiting for that approach to go to it. But female rappers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the rest of If you didn't know, I love. <laughs> I mumble a lot, but um. Okay, so I can't say I'm not a fan because, like, I fucking... Uh, female artists in general is a <laughs> weird thing for me because, like, he was talking about earlier with the... It's like some of them always talk about the same exact thing. And you can get that same way with, like, the rappers, especially the rappers, because even though they're not talking about the same thing, it's always, just, like, drugs or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to say I don't participate in talking about that stuff, but, you know, you got to mix it up every once in a while. Every once in a while, we gotta mix it up. That's right. And he brought up Snow, and that's a that's a perfect that's a perfect. She's a rapper, rapper. Yeah, she is a rapper, rapper. You can't take that away from Snow because here's the thing: what about what I'm saying about female rappers is, it's hard to put it even in a gender because you either rap or you don't. You know. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like, there's a lot of people that can claim they rap, rap, but I I just think it's just exactly what I'm putting up. I think it's rap. Like, it's just, you know, like. I think a lot of what people consider SoundCloud music is just... But, like, when some people say they rap, they're only talking about <clears throat> uh, writing and or freestyling. Nah, I think it's you all know? about the... Rap Rap is more than just the music. It goes to the culture. It goes Fair. to the It goes to how you pronounce yourself. It's everything. And I think, like, if there's a female artist that got that early on, it was probably Nicki. And that's why, why do you think, like, what is Scotty beam me up on numbers doing right now? Fucking insane, bro. Like, uh. I don't even know what it is. Scotty beam me up is a mixtape that she just dropped as an album. That's an old mixtape. I think drama had a lot to do with it. But she just dropped that as an album, and it's doing insane fucking numbers on the Apple. Okay. Nikki dropped? I yeah. guess. I'm gonna have to fuck with her, dude. Man, y'all, y'all gotta go check it out. Like, Nikki I. Nikki can't rap like a motherfucker, dude. Nikki can scream bars. St- Nikki's got that style, bro. She's like, like Cardi, always pussy dropping and ass dropping too. Yo. Without Nikki, a lot of rap, a lot of. Dude, she is always scooting and booting, boys. But Snow, Snow's on that actual rap stuff. Yeah. She's the hip hop. There's a difference between hip hop and rap, and she's a hip hop artist. She She's rap. a hip-hop artist. She can rap rap. For sure. Um, what's your favorite Snow song? What's my favorite <laughs> Snow song? Mm-hmm. Ugh, bro, I don't even listen to her anymore, but if I was to go back, I'd just, I, I, I was, I don't I, know. I, I, I was I'm riding not. Cookie Butter Bitches for the longest time, bro. That song goes so hard because it's explaining what we're talking about right now. Cookie Butter Bitches. That's what most female rappers extract themselves as, you know? <laughs> Fact. They all look sweet as candy. And you want to eat at them. And um, yeah, that's the female rapper mentality. And I think if you want to be, if you are a female rapper <laughs> and you're out there, I think you should expose yourself. Oh, there's one on TikTok. Like, do real hip hop because that's what you. you I think know. her name's Katie. Or I've something. never heard of her, but if you like, be part of the culture. You know, rap, put some bars down. The girl on TikTok, I think her name's Katie. If you guys know, you know. If not, mm. look her up. Because I don't remember what her handle is. I just know there's a female rapper. She's like, if I was on this verse, it would be this. And Death like, Row back in the day, dude. She had, they had that, that female rapper that was on everything. Snoop, uh, Doggy Style, she was on that. She was on The Chronic. With that, like, hi, really pitch five verse voice. Yeah, but she rapped. Like yeah, she, she was spitting there. bars. Yeah. 
She was with them boys, but she was rather it was annoying. She it wasn't was pretty going. though. You know what I mean? That's why she never took off. I think she mm. wasn't pretty. They can't sell, you know, that shit. Just like fucking um, and that's like so shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like it's music. Like you listen to it. Why do you got to be pretty to sell music? Because you have to make music videos. Oh man, you gotta be in the public. But think about it. MF mm-hmm. Doom wore a fucking mask. You know, but what that's saying? that's his aesthetic. He said that that's very early. Thing. Yeah, I don't he know. chose that. He was still in the public guy. Biggie was proud, dude, and he, I don't know, he, like, it doesn't matter. wasn't a looker, but he had the confidence, so yeah. he, and, and, and what he wore, right? Yeah, he so. was a fashion fucking king, dude. Oh, of course. Versace, everything, Versace, and fucking, dude, that, dude, like, Biggie, Man. Biggie about that, dude. He had the chains, he had the watches, he didn't give a fuck, dude. He was good, dude. Without Biggie, you know, I mean, Biggie's such a hard just because he had that cock eye doesn't mean nothing. That was only when he's fucked up, bro. <laughs> That's very all right, fair. There is pictures where he's like, you know, straight, straight up, normal, bro. And then you can just tell when he's fucking turned. When he was fucked up, his eye went sideways, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know. Um, you know, female rappers are no. I think I think uh, the the problem is with it, dude, is that there, there's a culture that that the female rappers put out. I mean, they're so loud about feminists. You know, Man. women can do this, this, and that, and that, and this, but then they make themselves look like they're sexual. Man, you heard you you heard Rhapsody? Have yeah. you guys listened to Rhapsody? Because I'd say Just Rhapsody, Bohemian, buddy. Rhapsody is a female rapper. Come on, that was. Oh, I thought we we're talking about like BET Rhapsody. No, no, you know I'm talking I mean? about a rapper. Her name's Rhapsody. No. Nah. What's one she, song she yeah, sings? She's, uh, she's on a couple Kendrick joints. She's on. That makes sense why I never heard Have it. Have you heard the the <laughs> law by Ab Soul? I she, think so. She's on that track. She did she did one with Cole. I can't. Uh, it's like I can't remember what it's called. But she yeah she's a lot. Cole had to have done one with her. And I'd say she does that thing Facts. where I think she speaks on yeah being feminist and like but yeah she doesn't sexualize her music like that. That's my point. Cam got on Jake. So Cole's I'd say album. get into get into Rhapsody man R H A P C D like. She's gotcha. fucking. She's tight, man. That's exactly the point. It's like you can't you can't be putting out this shit like, be a feminist, all this fucking women empowerment shit, and, and then, then go look and like drop a stripper on this fucking and stage. And then go drop yeah. your ass. Cause like, what kind of example? What example are you setting? You know what I mean? These motherfucking rappers who talk about drugs, cocaine, pimping hoes, and all this shit—they don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? They're not like, oh, men power. We're good men. We, they don't never put that out. They're, we're, we're goons, cause you know what I mean. That's right. what they want to put out. <laughs> Fair. You know what I mean? So there's a whole movement that's actually of truth behind it. You know what I mean? They're like, we ain't fucking, we ain't, we ain't model citizens. We don't try to be that. But then here these like women are like, yeah, we want to represent the fashion world. You know, like huge designers and get mad when they when they can't. Like, well, you don't represent our company like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Fair. And then get mad and then act like it's some fucking... Well, you guys are just against feminine rappers. No, fuck you, dude. You, you ain't pulling yourself like you say you are. Period. You know what I mean? That's a problem. With the same it. thing can only sell so much. Yeah, exactly. And it's hard for me to respect a female rapper that does that. And for me, a lot of rappers that I listen to, it's because I respect them. You know what I mean? Because if, right. I, if I don't respect you, I will not fuck with you at all. It's, I don't try to be fake. I don't try to fucking... Not, I, that's just... To me, listening to somebody I don't respect is fucking fake. You know what I mean? Right. I think it's crazy. I think uh, so. You guys know Reason from TD. Uh, yeah. Reason. So no. he's got. I've a, only heard. I mean, I've heard only a few so stuff. But. Reason's got a song on his new album where he literally kind of talks about this. He literally has a verse kind of where he maybe talks Schoolboy about Q song. The, he talks about like the female perspective. You know what I'm saying? And how, like, and honestly, it is a little bit different. It's different being a female rapper than a male rapper because if you are a female, like it's yeah, it's kind of fucked up. You're living in a man's world and. People do, like, in the industry is going to sexualize that. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that's kind of the whole point of the song he's saying. Like, she just want to be an artist, but the fucking powers that be, like, putting her in the position to be an artist aren't going to let her do it without her going up there half naked. You know what I'm saying? It's a like fucked up business. You know, I think, I think it is. The industry's fucked. I think it's fucked. a real yeah. part of the I industry. I think that's the, top, that's the top tier of anything. Think, yeah. That is facts, dude. If you make it to the top, if you make to it sell into yourself, billionaire America, mm-hmm. you're in a weird yourself. place. It's called selling out for a reason, dude. Right. If you want to be top level, top tier, fucking media output, you talked about all the time, then you sell yourself mm-hmm. like a little prostitute, whether yeah. it's sexual or not. You're selling yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Uh, Very true. I got you. Flip the script. If I that did, then I would flip the script. Flipping the script. Birthday weekend, Levi. Bang. All right. Oh, so yeah, I, it is your birthday. Not yet. Uh, like tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Several okay. birthdays happen. Shout out to everyone who just had a birthday this week, including happy my birthday, cousin man. Raj. Yeah, Raj. My wife tomorrow. Yeah. Or not Cassie, or Tuesday. happy birthday up coming up. Yeah, um, Levi tomorrow. Yo. Uh, anyway, you guys seen my Mac Miller vinyl, but I'll talk about it again. Circles Deluxe, clear. Came with a sick ass poster. It's really big. Was that your birthday present or something? Yeah, for my mom and Roy. Fuck yeah. And, um, Fuck yeah. And then we, I got a truck as well. Hey, not know. just any truck. Not just any truck. Though. You got the truck that I bought to rebuild. Then I sold to uh, a newly accounted friend and he got a hold of me back because I said if you were to sell it I want it back hmm. I wasn't in position to buy it back and I was like you know what I know someone who wants a truck it's my little brother so I did a ton of work so people who knew and followed the podcast I did a lot of work to this fucking truck and then he went and put three more grand into this truck and Levi ended up scoring it <laughs> and it runs like a fucking raped ape like a raped Ape. That's right, dude. You know that one? Yeah, you man. heard that one before? Actually, I think that's the first. Or what about swinging through day? the jungle with the meat in my hand? I'm a mean motherfucker. I'm a cunt chasing man. Born in the shit house, raised a slave. <laughs> Fucking and fighting is all I crave. Yeah. <laughs> heard that one? Nah, man, this is, this is fucking, you that's blowing on, my mind. That's on the start of a song. <laughs> Our dad made it up. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's from, like back in the day. I bet you go home, say that to your mom or dad, they know. Um, They'd finish it out for you. Hurry up, bro. Fucking birthday barbecue. Hey. Oh, and barbecue? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're barbecue. Baby. Went, went to a barbecue. Oh, I'm doing a barbecue, but I went to a barbecue, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, other than Genie's. And then... Um, Where's the barbecue at, anyways? Tomorrow? Yeah. Here? Oh. I think. Mm. E. Well, that sucks. It's not a black eagle. I wanted to run the game. Yeah, me too. You know we could just run a game anyway. No, well, I'm, I'm not going to be playing out in this dirt and ruining my kicks. Sorry, bud. It's a good one. It's not my flavor. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not Devin. Devin and dude, <laughs> they was getting it last time we had a ball game out here. Mm. Motherfuckers were wrestling. Oh, that's funny. They were like, dude, I'm a real motherfucker. Just good. <laughs> I'm I worry just, about him. <laughs> I'm just throwing fucking, <laughs> I'm just in there throwing balls. Because <laughs> this little brother. Just, <laughs> yeah, he's our baby brother. All right. <laughs> Um, free Jason Davis. Hashtag free Jason Davis. My best friend just got locked. Get up. that trending. Uh, <laughs> he uh. Episode one, Jason Davis. He had warrants for like boy. fucking years, and he finally got picked up on him. So free my boy. He ain't even do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just living life. <laughs> um, playoff crowds are back. Playoffs, Lakers are tied with the Sun. That two and two. Yeah, fuck that, dude. This game was whack yesterday. AD or today, t- AD went down again, bro. No foul. Out on game for g- groin injury. Probably won't have him for the rest of the fucking no. series. Dead ass. Uh huh. Yeah. No, they said just one game. game five. They, they said they don't have official answer. He's out for game. Damn. Yeah. Uh, the crowds are back, which is cool. We have uh, I mean, people who watch sports, like. For me, dude, the reason why I love college basketball more than any other sport is because college basketball is because hmm. is because of the crowds. You know what I mean? I love I love the atmosphere that those college kids put out, man. Because everyone who's there to watch the game is there to watch the fucking game. It's not there because it's a status symbol. It's not there to be. Oh, well, let's go see. Especially it. the students of said school. Dude. That's Them what I'm saying, it. bro. Like they're not there to fucking you know, right. get it. It's not. It's not. It's not an invitation. Let's go on a date and maybe watch a game. Or, uh, oh, I'm gonna bring my child who doesn't give a fuck about the seat and doesn't watch the game. You know what I mean? It, they're there to fucking. So what? Like blow like the fucking, stadium's roof off, dude. Right. Like that's fucking dope. That's why I love college ball. So I'm happy to have a crowd back in stadiums. Like Chapel Hill and shit. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring no Chapel Hill involved. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Coach K Stadium, baby. Is that what it's called? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Uh, Cameron Stadium. Oh. It's Cameron, but Coach K Stadium. Basically. It is called Coach <laughs> Coach K Stadium. Coach oh, K's it's court. a nickname. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's the stadium that he built, bro. Um, so, playoffs uh, for the NBA are getting 
nasty. It looks like uh, looks like Nets are gonna take fucking Celtics out. It looks like, uh, the, looks like the Clippers falling. are gonna tie up the series. Yeah, they're they're with winning Dallas right now. tonight. Yeah, yeah, they were up like twenty five when I last yeah. checked. And then um, who else? Uh, Knicks are gonna go out. They're three one oh, against Knicks. Atlanta. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, there. Moving past that, we got aliens coming up next week as well. We got a big week next week. We got aliens. We got um, AD out. The alien. Um, <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to this federal release of information for aliens, UFOs, and all that shit. Um, I'm hoping that they don't fucking shut the door to the truth and they fucking uh, sway about it or just release some shit that we already know. Like, I want to hear it come directly from them. In a like a confirmation from the FBI. Yes, there's aliens here. Yes, we don't know why they're here. That, I, I, I would be cool if even... Or yes, got, we have an idea they're here. Or they're, I would, I would, they're, I would be okay with them just to say, yes, they're here, but we don't know why. You know what I mean? Or, because, you know, like, that's that's what's going to scare people. You know what I mean? We don't know their ultimate plan, but we ain't scared. We're they don't have to say <laughs> that Roswell was real. We'll they don't have much. to fucking say... Yeah, right. Levi. <laughs> They don't have to say Roswell was real. They don't have to say fucking that we've been in contact or we've been working with them or they have an agenda with them or they had, like, technology exchanged with them. They don't have to say none of that shit. Just say they're here. We know it. We don't know why. Do the, okay, so then how long do they say they've been here? Do they say I, I think they would have to admit, I mean, from the very beginning, you know, you're not, if they're going to release it all like they say they're intending to, then they better, like, admit, okay, so in the 1900s, we were in a fucking revolutionary war, and it was first documented with George Washington, but kept secret. I'd Damn. be okay with that. You know what I mean? Like, I just want I just want the acknowledgement of truth. You know okay. what I mean? I'd be cool with that. I got to ask you, what's up with your nails? Are you, like, a Tyler, the creator fan, or you've been doing that forever? <laughs> I was going to ask him when he was on the mic, too. Why don't you come up here real quick? <laughs> it was a question I wanted to ask. I just forgot. So, hey, yo. Here's my nails. Shout out Jose. He's the first person I saw this with the three nails. He did them all black. I think the middle one was pink for him. But he explained there were just three important fingers to him. He didn't say much else after that. But I don't know. I kind of took that. I thought that was cool. I did that a little bit in high school. But recently, I went out with my cousin Isaiah over the cow spell. Shout out Isaiah. I'm obviously going to tell you I was on this shit, bro. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, he he does his nails and shit. And, you know, he offered to, like, take me to one of those manicure things. And I don't go on that shit normally, but it's my cousin. So I'm going to be like, yeah, well, if it's your hobby, bro, I'll join you in it, bro. That's quality time. And so I come out with it on the spot, did it. And uh, to explain it, it's basically like a trinity, you know, like it's the three things, you know, if if you friendly, you're probably seeing the black ones, like, because you either getting a thumbs up or I'm sipping with you. But then the red one is the trendy of it, you know, it's the peep. Like, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like... Dude, that's way one. deeper than I thought it was. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that, was, that was way cooler, too. What's up, brother? Fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, Hell man, yeah. the meaning behind your nails is actually fucks, dude. I fuck with it. That's cool. I would say, I just know people that do their nails black because they're fucking rock stars. Shout out to Nick. I told you, Mike. Hell yeah That was dope bro. As he said dude yeah. That was dope I wasn't expecting none of that And I really liked all of it All of it dude He's like If you if I fuck with you You get a thumbs up If I don't Fuck you And if I drink with you Use my pinky cut It was cool dude Alright And you said it was a In an honor of your friend right Is he dead? It's honor of two friends No they're not dead They're not dead uh, my, It's honor of my friend Named Jose He I went to high school with him He was just like He influenced my music To everything Nice you know? We never do it this late, and we forgot to throw it in there. Valley of the fucking doom. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. All right, we got that shit pulled up. <laughs> so We usually always fuck, start yeah. with that. Oh, yeah. Wait, Are that. you good with Master Ace? The beat? I think you wanted that uh, one. Yeah, I'll try the other one, I'm thinking. I was going to say, who's... He, are you familiar with that beat? Or is that why you chose that beat? Nah, I actually hadn't heard that one before. I am familiar with the producer. I've heard some things that dude's made. Okay. That makes sense, then. 
get familiar with. I charge Tiger twenty thousand dollars for this beat. I charge Rick Ross thirty two thousand dollars for this beat, and I charge G. Charge G Easy a lot more than the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, did, is that what he said? No, I haven't, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I yet. bet he did, though. You seen it? Yo, yo. Huh? Shit. Ryan the Banjos. Kid. I really like kid. banjos. Ryan the Kid, Weekly Bus, Freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Valley of Valley the Valley of the Boom. Do, 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 do. Uh, and yo, the flow code is snowbound. I'm known now for profound lyrics. I got my own sound. I see right through like ultrasounds, you know how it's going down. I'm flowing and blowing loud, still going, won't slow it down. Nope, down slope, we at the lowest point, packing joints, pack explosive. We melting like corrosives and I'm overjoyed. Can't avoid the inevitable, reputable rap tracks. A kid, I level up, then I backtrack. I'm too stoned to react fast, been facing the backlash. The whip crack like Indiana Jones in the last act. Uh, kicking all the Nazi ass, mobbing past, we shining like the pots and pans. If you don't know where we at, you'll probably find us at the pad, no cap. Mine gone, but I'm back like that. Write songs over kicks and hats, on the break like Kit Kats. I sit back and hit that reefer. You either do what Simon told you or you follow the leader. I'm doing neither, down a leader of the captain, leader of the new school. I'm the captain of the ship. Laughing cause I'm lit, cousin Vinny and his bitch We two youths with two dudes in the mix A few smooth new tunes I'm trying to spit You know how I do, but now the verse has gotta end Shit, yo, rapping and I'm working on my mannerisms Brain trust blowing up like an aneurysm Infiltrate the algorithm Beats sound like alchemist and I've been high as shit Spitting this rap like the chillum Chilling homie, I ain't giving no crap Spit the code, it's no the track slap And I don't got a Snapchat I sure as shit won't get a TikTok You trying to make memes, I'm trying to make hip hop Won't hit stop when we hit the top I hit the pop when I write We lifting off the pivot strong I live the way that I like If you don't like it, take a hike Down the maker's mark, you sip the mic's hard uh, God damn, you know this life's hard Yo, got a large bazooka Leave a smoke cloud like a hookah R.I.P. to one king about his kooka Yeah, yup the kid, brain trust, the weekly bust. Yo. And that's all. Yeah, yo. The kid yeah. fucks, dude. The kid Fuck, fucks. Yeah. <laughs> Put that as a song itself. The kid fucks. He raps. I ain't no doubt about that shit. The motherfucker raps. Fuck yeah, man. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. That's good. Nah, man, that wasn't good. That was best freestyle on this bitch, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad y'all liked yeah, it. Yeah, no, that fucks, dude. That... I had to get my bars up for the weekly bus. I'm going to have to tell John, uh, hey, Ghost, check it out, dude. You got out done on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boy, I'm gonna have to to I'll have to re-listen to that because there's shit in there that went by, bro. Like, yeah? I, had, like, I was like, damn, I, I want to hear that because, but then I was thinking, damn, I missed the other bar. Right. It was good. It was good, man. Fuck yeah, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, fuck, holy shit. And uh, people who don't understand, like, when we first picked up his music, dude, I was like, this kid fucks, dude, like, a while back, dude. I was like, yeah, we like, listened yeah, to man. it, we, we both grabbed a CD, so I'm like, this shit actually rap, raps, dude. Yeah, man, so um, that's what I came to do, man. I wanted to fucking, I definitely wanted to spit something dope here for y'all, for sure. Hell yeah, that was off the head, too, right? No, that's a written, I already had that shit stashed away, but it fits over pretty much any beat. I pretty much, yeah. So it wasn't a free, but it rips, dude. It's just it was something, good. It's something I've been sitting on. Um, okay. That was that was dope as fuck. That's a shame that it wasn't a freestyle. I was like, holy fuck, fuck. dude. I was like, off the head. How do you? I wish I wish shit? I could freestyle like that. I'm actually I will be freestyling like that soon. I bet. There you go. See, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna work at it. Are you a, are you a good free now? I'm pretty good at freestyling right now. Drop a valley, then, dog. Drop a valley. The Valley of Doom's I'm, like I'm down. I could spit a little something. The Valley of Doom's four rap. Dude, yeah, we gotta get Mikey in here too. You guys want to take team? I'm down. I could try to spit. All right, some. all right. Yeah, get in all there, right. Mikey. Well, you can throw that other one on though. I'll tell you that. You know, Mikey's in there, bitch. Like, fuck take the floor for him. I'm also saying, I bro, I made a vow to myself that I will not go past my limit on anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will like always go underneath what everyone expects. Okay, that's my vow. But no, that just pass out. No, that's the main vow. I got. I always like. <sighs> Everything is patience. Life takes time. <laughs> Fact. If if I was to show my cannons right now, then everyone wouldn't know what I was capable of. There's no such thing as that. I practice, but you know, 
I'm not gonna say I'm gonna drop him. Remember, fist crazy. away on the mic when you freestyle so we can get yeah, you. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. You can adjust it to where you are. You can hold I it, got whatever, you. bro. Oh, you pull it? No, I mean, don't pull oh, it. Oh, yeah, yo, yo, I got you, I got you. There you go. I was getting comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, yo. Valley in the Doom, baby. Uh, shit. Riding you know. the kid. The kid. Uh, yo, we usually getting faded in the basement. Oh, wait. I gotta wait. Yeah, I'll wait till after this part. Alright. Man, you know I'm on the grind. Taking my time, spitting flows off the top of the mind And I don't mind if you've been hating You probably not relating to the shit I've been saying I'm going super saying when I'm flowing off the top Everybody knows I'm off the pot, I'm off the drink Don't give a motherfuck what you think Yeah, we rocking the show Yeah, we doing this shit So slow, so clean, and you know it's so mean Yeah, and I don't sip no lean No, no, what was that one Master HB you had with that clean ass sample? You know, he was like, you know what I'm talking about. Ryan even coming out that shit, it had that clean Master ass sample. Master Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That early one. Is that, that? It was the instrument. Right there. Was this one? Yeah. Was it it? That was that right Yeah. Is this it? I saw the other one, man. Oh, uh, no, yeah, go back. Is go, this go it? Go down a little bit. <clears throat> Go down, just scroll down a bit. I think. I think we'll, I think we'll run into it. I thought it was, and then I erased this. So it went like this. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. It was this one. Sure. There. Okay. Sure. sure. All right. All right. Mm. Back, starting over. Valley. That's of the doom. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Shit. And man, you know we back at it. Uh. And man, you know we back rapping off the top. Yeah, and yo, I'm flowing off the brain. Shit, and yo, we smoking all the Jane, all the dank. I don't care what you think. Floating in the water, man, you probably gonna sink. Uh, man, you know how it goes. Shit, shit, shit. And I ain't picking up my phone when I'm lit off the dro. Yeah, it's off the top. Go, take it away, Mikey. Spit yeah. something. Spit hey. something. Hanging with my crew, I'm just doing what I do And if you know me, then I'm like a honeydew Ay, Sweet in the summer when I come, what I do Is my soul if you want it, bro, it, what you get it, boo Ay, I just got a boo when I'm hanging out Ay, I just come down, AK slanging out uh, When I show up, they always show out Told some white fish, motherfucker, go out <laughs> Beat a nigga up last night, I can't lie You know I do what I do until I fucking die To die, you have to live You get what I say, and you pulling out the shit, yeah I I seen some shit and I've been through it and I talked to my boy Levi and he been the hits he knows what I've been through I went to Texas I had to lose myself to get my soul in messes <laughs> the messes you know what I mean <laughs> yeah uh, uh, uh. Shit, and yo, the flow so explosive, the draw so potent, you can choke it when you hit it. Yeah. Everybody knows the way I'm flowing a little different. God damn, I got an interest in rapping. I don't even know how it happened. Shit, overnight, now nah, really, I've been working for years, and I've been growing out my beard, got it trimmed the other day. Everybody knows that these raps is real flame, might set your ass on fire. I'm rocking these fly attire that I made. Everybody knows the shit's sick like AIDS. God damn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's oh, all, that's all I got. All right. It fucks. <laughs> oh, shit. That was pretty tight. Hell yeah. <clears throat> no. Oh, yeah, it was cool spitting some shit for fun. No. Right? Yeah. It was nice. Okay. Oh. By the way, I've never fucking ever, ever heard of the Master Ace and when that beat. I've been... Fuck. I've heard that sample before. Have you? Freddie, Freddie Gibbs rapped over that oh sample. Oh, my God. That might be where, like, I, I don't know if there was something <laughs> Did about it. it. Yeah. Okay. There was something about it when I heard it. I was just like, oh my god, it's giving me these like college Yo. dropout Kanye vibes. Dude, that know, beat. If I get those vibes, bro, it's that beat is butter, dude. Holy shit. Smelling it. That was good, right? Fuck yeah, man. Y'all was y'all was stamping. <sighs> yeah, just a little preview, man. Oh, All right. Man. So I got some news. I, I quit drinking about three weeks ago. Oh shit! I found my I found our little noise picker again. Oh nice. 
Um, that's going well. I haven't drank, so okay. yeah, man. Hell yeah, that's what's up. <sighs> Give them around one of them. Yeah, I'm an alcoholic. People know it. Um, <laughs> people that know me know that, and it, it just comes to a point in my life where it's too destructive. You know, for me, I like to have too much fun, and that's the problem. Um, it ruins my responsibility. So I made the decision that I need to quit drinking. So that's that. Um, I also have recently uh, made the decision that I'm going to inquire seriously about paganism. I think I'm going to dive into paganism and fucking... I'm, I'm buying uh, a book that uh, goes into Nordic pa- uh, paganism. And I have a few friends that did the same shit. Uh, my mom and my dad, me and Levi's mom, and my biological father are fucking diving into paganism as well. Yep. And uh, I think it's a decision that's, like, weird. You know what I mean? Like, because mm. I'm not a big fucking religious guy ever. I just kind of, like, I'm getting to the age where I want to kind of believe in something. So if I do believe in something, I want it to be something cool as fuck. And I think Valhalla sounds dope. You know what I mean? Like, you just they just drink, fuck, fight. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, dope. That sounds about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? If that's where I die, dude, and then I end up in Valhalla, dude, I'll be a happy motherfucker, dude. That'd be cool, dude. Yeah. I mean, fuck yeah, I'm in Valhalla. It's high. You know what I mean? That's why I chose uh, paganism, because fuck it, dude. I, hell sounds lame. Assassin's Creed is dope, too. Assassin's Creed, Valhalla's sick, dude. Yeah, but that's not where it comes from. You know what I mean? No, like, I know. Like, well, I mean, uh, it, it comes from yeah. that. That the game idea, comes from the fuck. Yeah, but the idea of why I want to go to paganism. No, I get that. I think the idea. I'm just of saying. What's, it was what just also throwing attracts it out me there, to paganism? Dude, I'm a video game player. What so. also attracts me to paganism is that I'm native, right? And uh, I've already had like my beliefs when it comes to you know the creator and nature, and we should be at one with nature, and that's paganism, bro. It's not far off from that. Like, they just have a little cooler story, like, storylines, like, traceable storylines with Odin mm. and Thor and shit. And okay. I can, it resonates. That's what's up. It resonates with me, man. And uh, when, I won't talk about what I'm going to do when I, if, if I get to that point. Until, I think if they know, they know. It, when I get to that point. It's a big part of it. I'll talk about it, yeah. But I haven't made that full decision yet. I'm going to read their book first. I'm going to read their base, their Bible, basically. Before I decide whether I I'm full in or full out, because if I if people who the, like that know me know that when I do something I always do it to the extreme, hence my alcoholism. <laughs> um, Fact. yeah. So like so I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean. And if I go in, I'm going full full fucking pagan. You know what I mean. Whether it fucks up my current status or not, it doesn't matter. That's that's the news I have about myself. Okay, and then I got some news. Uh, this week I'm also. Buying our stepdad Dennis a car. He's been stuck. For, <sighs> he's been stuck at his house for a while. It's about time he gets back, you know, mobile. Fuck yeah! What are you getting him? Um, uh, Chrysler three hundred. What year? Oh, 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 two or oh three. Two hundred or three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred C. M. All right. That's the question. Yeah. I mean, for those who don't know, I knew, but I, I mean, for those who don't know. Which oh, is yeah. dope, you know what I mean? Like, he'll love it, and he'll take good care of it. You know what I mean? That fucker's never going to go anywhere, really. Right. Huckleberry picking. Link, yeah. Maybe. Libby. Libby and Lincoln. Libby. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah. Libby and Lincoln. You know what I mean? There you go. Um, just some pop culture. We have, like, we've gotten away from our original few episodes that people love our pop culture. Um. Not that we mean to or anything. It's just the, just the episodes have been so deep with it with the the guest. You know what I mean? As it should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't had a chance to touch on any pop culture. Kylie and Travis back together, sneaking off, fucking each other. Hell yeah! What you think about that? I think it's go Travis. I think it's lame. Okay. You know well, what I mean? Whatever. I like, go Travis. I guess I like it's Kyle, lame, but fucking go Travis. I want Kylie <laughs> to hoochie out, dude. I want her to slip up, make a porn tape, so we can see her just like him. Maybe she already has. We just haven't got there yet. I know. We need. No, because we'd hear about it. I want to leak. If anyone would hear about it, I'd hear about it. Yeah, same, dude. Like, I want to leak. I want to see that bitch naked. Is she as bad as she says she is? You know what I mean? Is it all makeup? Yellowstone just went off. Well, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, you know, it was just it fucking crazy. In the planes, trains, and automobiles. I'm gonna throw some more white shade at whites. 
at NBA fucking games. Quit throwing fucking. Quit spitting on our fucking NBA players. Quit fucking throwing bottles. Yeah, no out. shit. We just got fans Dumping back allowed in the stadium. But it, dude, it's not a coincidence. Every single time, it's a white fan. Right. Every fucking time, dude. Dude, it reminds me of the school shooters. Every fucking time, it's a white guy. You know what I mean? Fix your anger issues. Quit punching holes in the wall, Kyle. Kyle. You know what I mean? That's how it is. White people are big babies. You know what we're talking about? Oh, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seriously, Drinking it's monster. a fucking mm. problem, dude. You know what I mean? Grow the fuck up. <laughs> big fucking babies. It's um, over just nothing. Just getting railroaded in the basketball game. Come yeah. on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If you dude. lose, you lose. You're going to be a big baby and spit on a professional basketball player? You can yell. You, can, you know what I mean? Yell till you get ejected. Don't yeah. spit on them. Yeah. That's, I hate, that's, dude, that's, I hate bodily That's just though. nasty, man. That's the worst thing that you could do to instigate a man to fuck you up, dude. Yeah. Spit on him. Spit yeah. on yeah. me. Yeah. I'm fighting you. It's worse than a slap. You yeah. know what I mean? A slap's up there. If you get bitch slapped, I mean, it, that's, that's every grounds to fight. Mm. <laughs> but if you get spit on, dude, that's an automatic punch in the fucking head, dude. Right. Like, you ain't a man to fucking talk shit or fucking slap me or fucking, like, you're getting fucking punched in your mouth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, what I that, mean? Yeah, no spitting, dude. That's no, the that's worst, dude. Yeah. Spit, I'm fighting. Um, that, so, oh, fuck, man. I had something for cancel culture. What the fuck was it? Everything. Well, fuck cancel culture. Fuck woke, like, woke culture and all that shit, man. It's woke ruining culture? It's ruining everything, dude. I am a centralized person now that was a hardcore Democrat. Everyone who knew that, like, knows me, knows I was a fucking Democrat all the way through. Since I voted. Mm. Been blue all the way through. And up until the last, I, I debranched in July. Voted blue again. But not as a Democrat, not as a registered Democrat, like mm. I am. I've debranched. And it's because of shit like this, dude. I cannot support this extremism. Okay, something happened 30 years ago. You don't think my opinion changed since I was fucking 10? <laughs> right. Or when I was 15 years old? Mm. You're going to pull some guy's track record 15 years ago and say, cancel him because he said this shit. Right. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Especially when times were way different. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even <laughs> even if, I mean, it, was, even if it was some shitty shit, you know what I mean? Some racism, yeah. some sexism, whatever the fuck it may be. Mm. Like, that was that so was... long ago. You don't know. Was it, that was ex- that could have been acceptable then? Even if it shouldn't have been morally, it was accepted then. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? It was at least laughed about. Yeah. Yeah, like this is getting out everyone of- got it. Now it's like, dude, what was it, man? Especially, yeah, now in the, yeah, in the. What you told me to remember it. We live in. (laughs) Fuck, dude, I had something dope, bro. I had something fire. You guys don't remember, man? It was cancel culture. Oh, Mikey, look at you, bro. This guy has a. Oh, it was Seth Rogen. This guy's a great memory, dude. He really does. Um, Seth Rogen publicly announced that he will not, or has no plans to work with fucking James Franco. Ever again. Ever again. And this is fucking a 20-year relationship. And I want to break this down. You know what I mean? 20-plus year relationship. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to uh, no. say, because, yeah, dude, Geeks and Ten. Freaks. Nah, Geeks and Freaks is fucking at least 20 years old. Fucking 18 oh, years. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And uh, That's a good fucking show, man. Uh, so, That's one I haven't watched. And they've been publicly known. As, is it? And publicly known as, like, best friends, right? Okay. And so what if James Franco's fucking some 18-year-old bitch? You know what I mean? If she's legal, she's legal. You know what I mean? If she's an adult, James Franco's what? Like 35, 36? So fucking... Something. So fucking what? Oh, but because it's going to be like there's a, an age gap? Since when does that matter? Right. You know what I mean? As long as she ain't a fucking minor or fucking a little girl or fucking some fucked up shit, right? Right. What's it matter to Seth Rogen? And so he, he, public, he publicly goes out and says this shit. But acts like he didn't know that James Franco was fucking college bitches and shit. Dude, you've been a friend for 20 years. You know that he's been fucking these bitches for probably 20 years. Really? You know what I mean? Like, and now it's a fucking problem? And that's a bitch cop out, dog. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen to this ca- cancel culture. All of a sudden, my best friend fucking doesn't like me because I'm on the weekly bus in 2021. This is 2030. But you said this, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, f- you know what I mean? Let's get over it, dude. <laughs> I'm, de- yeah. I'm serious, dude. Fair. Uh, it's a problem in fucking society now, dude. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. We've been That's so weird. buttercupped that we can't fucking have a voice, dude. It's sad. Like the uh, 
masculinity thing you were going off about. Absolutely. That's that, that's a fucking huge Yeah, thing. cornering masculinity. Yeah. Uh, you, it's it's I guess it's labeled that you're toxic if you're masculine. <laughs> Grow up, dude. We, it's right. in our genes to have testosterone and be angry. If it was if it wasn't for a man to be angry, we wouldn't have a free country today. You wouldn't even have the option to have a council culture because men said fuck you to another man. That's masculinity. Mm. You know what I mean? Because the other guy didn't agree with the other guy and spoke up and said, fuck you. Well, they're like, well, well, then we'll go to war. Fuck you. Yep, that's yeah. exactly it. And that's why we're at where we're at. Because of molas- uh, being a man, being masculine. You know what I mean? And they want to be like, oh, you have to be a sissy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to dress like a sissy. You have to act like a sissy. You have to wear powdered wigs. And then you, then you, and have, you have to stomp into dude, a... Dude, I just read a meme the other day. Uh, like Open field. And shoot was it your meme other. that you dropped? Or was it some other guy's? Was like, the, if, if, you're, if it's a boy, name it Thomas. No, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell, go tell the joke real quick, because that's hilarious. I don't care if I got if, if I got pregnant after getting the train ran on me. Uh, I'm keeping it. If it's a boy, please name it Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's good. It was uh, you, you ain't a man if you can't pay this bill. Oh yeah, and it was sixty-eight thousand oh, dollars. It was sixty-eight hundred dollars for oh, a restaurant bill. Yeah. Restaurant bill. First and foremost, how come that meme started out with, "If you ain't you ain't a man," all of a sudden it's okay to be a man if you're paying for shit, right? Right. Shit. Yeah. As a man, you should Shut be able to pay this bill. Fuck up again. As a man, you should be able to pay this bill at sixty. Yeah. Hundred five hundred fifty-seven dollars. What? How no. about? In order to be successful, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, it's labeled, you, you have to be successful to be a man. Shut up. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, but you can't be a manly man. I'm with a, I'm 120% behind Joe Rogan's statement. I would leave the white man part out of it. You know what I mean? But when he said that uh, uh, if it keeps going this way, a white, a, a straight White man will not have a voice if it keeps going this way. You know True. what I mean? And I agree behind that, but I'm going to broaden it. A man won't have a voice if it keeps going this fucking way. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we're going to cater to women's rights, which I have no problem against. That's what made me a Democrat to begin with is human rights in general. Mm-hmm. But if you want equality, then you better fucking start but, looking at equality mm. and quit trying to put, but men do this. So it's a fucking problem. Who's your favorite president? Kennedy. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't think Kennedy sh- did shit that I wasn't, like, I don't approve of. You know what I mean? Um, But I love Obama, too, bro. I mean, Obama fucked up with the uh, Obamacare, but that was, I mean, that's the basis of it. People want to bring up Baganzi, dude. That shit goes on every day. You know what I mean? Every fucking day, every president has, has a Baganzi underneath them. Mm. They just don't have it as publicly thrown in their fucking face. Fair. Okay. So Obama or Kennedy? All right. Represented the same shit. Represented the same shit. Change. Be a little more open. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. And they're both Democrats. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I Are I, they? Yeah. Yeah. Kennedy Ken- is for sure. Mm. Obama's a Democrat as well. Oh, Democrat. Oh, yeah. Obama? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's Abraham Lincoln, Republican. <laughs> He's the first slaves. Republican. No. The shout Coach, out he to invented Lincoln, the man. He, he invented the Republican Party. That's your favorite? Yeah, probably if I had to pick one, it might be Lincoln. Really? You know he's racist, right? He only I mean, did it. Well, who, he, he released, who wasn't he, racist back then, I he guess. He released slaves. I mean, I right, right. That That's what I'm saying. Like, it was acceptable then. So, I mean, but people often say, well, he freed the slaves. He did it for an agenda. Right. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't because he wasn't racist. Well, well, what was the reason? Money, economy, strength. Mm. Strength and being more you and having people, like, Blast Making it. a bigger America, really. Impact. A bigger impact in general. Yeah. Because after that happened, then the fucking, um, what's that shit called? Where they bought Montana. Uh, Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, there Louisiana you go. Purchase. I see, I'm so fucking dumb. That was for a million bucks. That was for, a, yeah. <laughs> the whole Isn't west, crazy? the whole west of the Mississippi, a million dollars? That's crazy. Right. The, <laughs> dude, that's nuts, dude. They bought it from the French and, the, and stole it from the Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reality of that. That's crazy. Horses are an implanted sea species. Dude, mom keeps bringing up this shit like natives weren't the first in North America. I was like, are you fucking high? 
<laughs> she keeps saying that. Who? I said, you need to quit smoking so much motherfucking weed. Who was then? She says white people. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. We all come from Africa, dude. That's if, not if it. Mom's watching the show, man. I swear to God. I mean, right. I swear to God, dude. I'd, I'd let her explain it in her comments. fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> um, she says white people, man. She's like, nah, like I don't even know what the fuck she says. You don't have to ask her, but I'm pretty sure it's white people. And uh, they brought over, you know, whatever. I don't even know. I don't understand. I don't know where she gets this basis from. Probably Gaia. Um, right? Thank you. What? I said chlamydia. He's like, I don't know what the fuck they brought over. <laughs> yeah. And I looked at Mikey for your answer. I said, right? That's and he's bad. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. This is probably the cleanest episode that we've ever cleanest? done. Cleanest? Yeah. What do you mean? There wasn't no sex jokes. Not like, hardly. Not though. hardly. We skipped over a lot of it. You know what I mean? Like it was too. Ryan let us talk a lot. Too. I think the this is the point. It's pretty stoned. It is a talk show, man. If you don't talk, that's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had to learn that one. <laughs> uh, hey, my dude, ASAP Rocky got a new album coming out. <sighs> he said it was ninety percent done. Dope. So, and he's fucking Rihanna. Yeah. How soon is that really coming, though? It better. Yeah. You really think that's coming soon? I bet you Rihanna's pushing for it. She's like, you better get some money if you're going to fuck with me. You think? 100%. He Dude, got she, money, she fucks princes and shit, bro. She got money. She was fucking, one of, the, she was fucking one of the richest people in the world, bro. Brady Bates calling me. If he wants 10 bucks for Xbox, he ain't getting it. <laughs> that's exactly what he wants. Uh, Great Falls. Uh, ten, you, do ten bucks of yard work, nerd. <laughs> huh. Please. What I know? Um, Great Falls is oh. building a new stadium. Um, pe- most people know about it now. Like that watch. Uh, I've been waiting for that new aquatic center. I don't really care for the event center. I'm not into aquatic centers. I think. <laughs> are we getting like a venue downtown? We're getting like a new music. That venue. place is opening up. That 800, 800 joint. I'm kind of stoked for that. That's the one Ray was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right by the Ray block. has his big hands in that. You know what I mean? You know Ray? No. Ray Stacks. Oh. Ray Stacks. Get in okay. touch with him. He's he he did a show with us. So I highly tour. highly suggest getting in touch with him if you were trying to jump on some venues. Fuck yeah, man. He has his hands in that shit. He used to run a radio station here. Okay. Twice. Sure, man. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, we're just pointing yeah. in the right direction. This is like a good place to network. Is because that place that they're opening sure. it holds about eight hundred. He said. Yeah, that's what he's saying they were going that's for. They're opening up rooms, so it'll be like a decent sized venue, like an underground venue. Because that looks the size of the Wilma. No, Wilma holds like probably, I bet you 2,000. Two? Yeah. Yeah. Wilma's big, bro. Like a little bigger than you it's would so imagine. It's so good. It's like in the there. Civic Center. It dude. sounds so good in there. Yellow Wolf was cranking out that motherfucker, dude. Yeah, the Wilma's sick, dude. I watched Sublime and uh, fucking the Wilma frying on mushrooms. My 20th birthday is when Yellow Wolf came. And you got kicked out. Got Girl. kicked out. Holy shit, that's fucking six years ago tomorrow. Oh, isn't that nuts? Damn. I we, guess I better go to Missoula. Yeah. Oh, dude, that Whatever. sounds cool. It goes like Rigo and shit, dude. He hasn't even got to experience summer life in Missoula yet. Not yet. See me so for him? Yeah. He's not a baby anymore. He's been in Texas for how long? His whole Texas. adult life? Yeah. Yeah, now he gets to do the cool adult shit in Missoula. Cool. Yeah. This is the weekly bus, though. You know what I mean? You got to... Uh, Sponsorship, Levi? It's sponsorship. All right, I got you. 20 past four. Your stop for vapes, disposable vapes mostly because we got out of the mod game. And, you know, as always, your water pipes, your fucking pipes. Your one stop vape your, and head shop. Exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, four locations two Great Falls, one in the Dubois parking lot, one downtown where your boy is. Uh, Helena and Billings. Coming soon to Missoula? I think so. That's what I was thinking out here. I mean, anyways. you know, it's a that's a tough market. For real. The Kalispell needs one. Kalispell needs one. Puffin' Glass is doing things up there. Yeah, but that's one vape head shop. What? I mean, uh, head shop. Are, you, oh. are, are they blowers? Uh, are they a, a head shop? No, head shop. They had heads up, but I, that's not really much of a head shop. It's like an alternative shop. It's it's all right. I mean, it did its job. Right, and then there's you know glacier glass. There's not very many like dedicated. Right. You know what I mean? Twenty fast four in Calisco would be sick. Fact. And, um. Um. Shout out, Jason Davis, free my boy. 
Hashtag free Jason Davis and Ryan's going to take us out of here with a statement. I don't know. <laughs> Anything you want to say, dude? I, One word or yeah, sentence. Fucking, man, shout out Promote to the yourself. Brain, shout out to the Brain Trust, man. Shout out to the Kukas, J King Productions, Get Tied Eyes, all that shit. Fucking, yeah, that's all. Weekly Bust, The Kid. Cool. We are the Weekly Bust.